words in them. Holy water, just a backseat driver flying on the cover. A nice suit and a family name says he'll make me a star. Happy Saturday, happy weekend, hello! Welcome to your weekend show live on Airliners Live. Love it, absolute banger. Welcome, everybody. Super Saturday. What's so going on here? Where you are. <laughs> How well, are we all doing? Welcome, guys. Yeah, really busy here at Manchester Airport. Kicking the show off. Zero fives again. Here live on Airliners Live in 4K. How's everyone's weekend going? Going, doing. Hotting. <laughs> Who's out in the garden? And, of course, uh, we've got Mr. Matt Cam Smith up on the mound. How are you doing, Maddy boy? Good morning, everybody from Costadale, Manchester. Lovely, isn't it? Rather, yeah, it's rather mega, pleasant. isn't it? Absolutely nice. boiling, mate. Sweating our bonds off today as the Ethiopian yeah. gets pushed back on the main camp. Nice to uh, nice to catch that being shifted about a little bit. I think they're just yeah, moving it out of the way. Yeah, can see that. Yeah. yeah. Nice, and uh, of course, uh, we're live just in time for the Emirates A380, which is on the move on Andy Cam. And uh, that's going to be our first heavy departure of the day. As uh, we bring you all the aviation action until 1 o'clock today. Hope you're all having a great weekend so far, enjoying the uh, nice hot weather. And uh, I think it's uh, quite lucky that we're live today because apparently tomorrow uh, we got a lot of heavy rain and uh, thunderstorms. So oh. it's uh, <laughs> wow. definitely a cheeky bonus that we're uh, live <laughs> today instead. Uh, we are expecting a little bit of extra traffic uh, for the football this afternoon. Um, although I'm not necessarily a City fan, I'm not really a football fan at all really, but I'll be supporting the Manny lads. Hopefully they uh, absolutely smash it tonight. Yeah, I believe that's uh, 8 p.m. Uh, UK time uh, at uh, over in Istanbul. Yeah, I think they've got to wrap up today's show with around one o'clock a Turkish triple 
uh, going out, which is quite a nice, uh, quite a nice catch. Yeah, the routes to Istanbul have been plentiful recently, with a lot of services from Pegasus and Turkish Airlines. Also news that EasyJet started their Manchester to Istanbul route yesterday. What a day to do that. But yeah, that was busy. Yeah. Connor picks a better time. We'll break away from this Emirates for a moment as it taxis past as Matt Camp's got a beautiful shot at a Scandinavian pulling on to stand right in front of him, chat. Absolute beautiful shot there, my boy. Yeah, great views. Good to have Matt back up on the apron as well. Yeah. How's it all there today, Matty boy? It's very busy up here, actually, today, mate. Busier than usual. Yeah. So, um, plenty of people expecting a lot, like you say, a few more movements than usual today. So. Nice. Really glad we've got the apron cam on great for this, too. then. And uh, when you get a second, Matt, um, switch yeah. us over to that 7.5 if you want, because we've got a, uh, a nice view of that today. That came in on our Wednesday show, uh, first Wednesday evening show um, of the year, and uh, really nice catch, and it's still here, actually. Yeah, the Jet Magic, I think it was called. Yeah, but, something like that. Um, I'm, I don't, I've not heard this officially, but a lot of people saying that it's actually a uh, musician who's on it. And it's uh, someone who's doing a tour, and I think it's pink. pink. Yeah, yes, pink, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. I've not heard that officially, but I, I don't even know if she's on tour or not. But uh, that would make sense. Uh, as uh, the wonderful guest that we had on, on the Wednesday show, our moderator Paul Davies was saying uh, he believes that that 7-5 was also used to tour Queen around back in the day. So, uh, yeah, obviously it's a, a bit of a VIP way to travel. Yeah. And uh, a 757, I mean, does it get any better than that? Absolutely not. And talking about VIPs, guys, uh, if you're a VIP of our channel today, you're going to be a little guinea pig for us. Uh, because, uh, as some of you have seen, I'm sure you have, uh, the awesome guys at Gemini Jets have sent us some models to give away to you guys. Um, uh, a couple of the bigger ones will be going to our VIPs, and then we'll open up the entries for non-VIPs uh, for the 1 to 400 scale uh, models as well. Um, but we want to test the giveaway system first um, to make sure it's working. So, in order to do that, we thought, well, why not? It's a nice hot day. Uh, so during today's stream, at some point, we will open up a little VIP giveaway in the chat to test the system. And we're going to be giving away a brand new Airliners Live cap to keep you nice and cool and looking fresh in the sun. So if you're a VIP of the channel, stick around. And if you're not a VIP and you want to get involved, join up, hit the dollar symbol, then click join. Yeah, the caps are great. Obviously, they are in stock on the website. But if you are a VIP, you can be in for the chance of winning one on today's live show. So stick around, especially if you are a VIP. And if you're not a VIP, you can join in uh, by becoming a VIP for just as little as a, a meal deal price yeah. these days. So It does really help the channel as well. Supports us, helps cover the costs. So thank you very much uh, for all our existing VIPs and to all our current viewers as well. Welcome in, everybody. And if you want to help us out completely free of charge, if you can give that like button a little click for us, guys, uh, just below the video, uh, we'd really appreciate that as well. An expensive plane, that Delta Cash. The Reg on this uh, Phenom 300 coming in from Geneva. And lining up on the runway, actually, before the King of the Skies, going to keep us waiting, we've got the Ryanair 737-800 bound for Dublin. And I think it looks like the next takeoff after this Ryanair will be the King of the Skies. Nice. And a uh, very warm welcome. We've got Kerry Lucas tuning in. Hope you're doing well. Stan Pace. Uh, Rachel says, I'm currently sat on the EasyJet holding at the side of the runway. 
Departing to Chania, waiting out a 55-minute delay. Oh, uh, that one over there. So we've got someone live on board. There you go. <laughs> At least you're near the runway, though, and you can, uh, if you're on that side, you can watch some of the aviation action. Or, I mean, you're tuning in live, right? So, listen. Ask the cats in. Get it on the ins. Get everyone on the ins. <laughs> listen. <laughs> Give us a shout out. Everybody on there. We'll have a bit of that. <laughs> <laughs> so big up to everybody on Easy 1-6 Romeo Yankee from all of us here at the Runway Visit Apart. I hope your delay is not too <laughs> long. <laughs> That's the best way to be sat in a delay. <laughs> we'll have a quick look at that plane. And uh, everybody on board 1-6 Romeo Yankee. Just go and find that drinks, Charlie. Take control of it. <laughs> and start handing a few out. Start a big party. <laughs> Yeah, so there's the aircraft there. It's an A320. Um, I can't see the engines on my display. Maybe you guys can, but if the engines are spinning... Uh, uh, tail looks to be depressurized, so I would assume they've shut one down. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, and a very warm welcome back to Sam Pocketay, returning for 14 months of business class membership, saying the best way... Ooh, to start my nine days off work. Yo! Mate, that is not a bad way to start your day off, is it? Here we go. AC80 rolling to celebrate your time off. Absolutely mega. Tell you what, I've never seen so many deck chairs in my life at the RVP today. Literally, the whole of Go Outdoors is in front of me right now. <laughs> Love, it goes. love that view. Nine-year-old Emirates A380. Yeah, it's great to catch Emirates Flight 22. When we start our show, they are scheduled to depart at about 9.50. And uh, obviously, factor in the, the longer pushback process of the quad jet. Uh, it kind of nicely starts the show off for us, yeah, if it's on time. And if it's late, then, you know, we're still here. But will we ever see an A318 Neo, guys? <laughs> Head over to our YouTube channel, watch the latest video that was released, which is uh, something about a little bit by surprise, because it's on about 15,000 views already, which is absolutely not. Yeah, it's great. Well-deserved. Absolutely love it. Love the new uh, pre-recorded videos we're doing on the channel. Hope you guys enjoy them as well. We are going to be covering um, various different topics on those videos. And we do do a lot of research, guys. We don't just film them and just say what we think. We actually put a lot of research, a lot of time in goes into those. And uh, obviously, Andy spends an absolute age editing them as well. Um, so, for you, although it is slightly quick with his brand new PC. <laughs> uh, so, if you've not watched them yet, I'd recommend you go and watch them, guys. Uh, we'd really appreciate your feedback on it. And uh, as we do more of them, uh, we'll be taking on board your requests for topics as well. Uh, but a very big thanks to Chester Mike with a 747 donation. Saying, have a great day, guys. I'm sorry I can't be with you. I'm back next week. Best win for City. Thank you very much, Chester Mike. Have a great weekend, dude. And thanks for supporting the channel as well. What Thank you. Yeah, he's a great moderator, Chester Mike. You've probably all seen him in the chat. Lee Williams, hello. Good morning. There is an airplane taxi and out here. It's a free bird. Another Turkish operator. We've seen this as uh, we were driving around to the apron to drop Matt off. It looks really nice. Nice. Uh, this one's got like a golden tail. I was going to say, what colour is it today? Yeah, like a goldy, browny colour. Yeah. Always have different tail colours, these free birds. And a very happy 40th birthday to Sam Donison. Happy birthday, mate. Have a great day. Happy birthday. This aircraft's off to Dalaman in the south of Turkey. Great views here at the runway visitor park when they're on 05 left. 
They're actually on some single runway ops at the moment. I, that took me by surprise. I think they've been uh, favouring single runway ops um, quite a lot these days with it being not crazy busy, like it's doable on single runway. Yeah, really nice for us. I think they've been on zero fives for like one of the longest times I've ever seen as well. Yeah, and still plenty more days to go as well, apparently. Awesome. But yeah, it does make you kind of almost miss two threes. Yeah, a little bit. But a little bit. At the RVP, I mean, zero fives, zero definitely. Fives the best, aren't yeah, definitely the best. Lee Williams returning for two years of business class membership. Thank you very much, dude. Enjoy that gold tail badge. Same so was great to chat before, Martin. Have a fab show and we'll buy you and Andy a drink later. Cheers, Lee. Yeah, thanks for coming over, mate. I'm sorry I was ever so slightly distracted as we were just getting the uh, the show turned on, but it was great to have a quick chat with you, mate. And, uh, yeah, we'll definitely catch up after the show as well. And thanks for the uh, very kind uh, offer of uh, beverages. Appreciate that, mate. Thank you very, very much. We've got <laughs> plenty of... Uh, oh, I've certainly got plenty of juice down here in the biggest bottle I can find. Matthew saying uh, the free bird has got an airline his live gold tail. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Two years. Two years. <laughs> well, I remember. And uh, there's that easy jet on the move now. Yeah, it didn't seem that long of a wait. Although I think it was waiting a fair bit before we pointed it out. Is the RVP packed today? Not yet, but yet being the operative word that uh, it will get busy in this weather absolutely yeah look at this it's not not too bad right now british airways a320 from london heathrow coming in now and andy saying we should get a few runway changes in the next few days with the thunderstorms yeah i must admit we're supposed to have quite a big thunderstorm later on today so i might even take a little drive out to the office and, and watch it that'd be great the only issue is <laughs> We've been let down a lot of times by we the are. forecast. We are. The last big thunderstorm we had was August 2020. Um, it seems like down south they've had a fair few, like over the last year. We've had like nothing. We had like one day where we had a bit of thunder, but it was during the day as well, so it wasn't as dramatic. For me, I love a good thunderstorm, especially I do. overnight as well. Yeah, there's nothing better. I love watching them. Absolutely. I know some people are like, a bit scared of them. I just love it. I want the thunder to be as loud as possible. Yeah, same. Like, big flashes of lightning. Yeah. They were saying you might even get local flooding. Like, what? Mental. We'll, we'll see. Nick Barker, brand new first class VIP. Thank you very much, Nick. Welcome to the VIP club, mate. Really appreciate that. And uh, Philip, I hope you had a great 20th birthday, mate, and loving the stream as always. Appreciate it as we get an awesome view on uh, Matt Cameron, the Sun Express that's been Push back off the stand, but we'll switch back over to main cam for the Freebird departure. And Becky saying, currently nine months pregnant, due to have a baby on Wednesday, uh, I have to spend my day taking my two-year-old to a bouncy castle party in 27 degree heat. <laughs> All I want to do is sit and watch plates. Wow. Well, best of luck on uh, both fronts there. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm actually due to be an uncle very soon, a real one this time. Ah. And uh, my sister is having a baby. It's due in August. So I'm not... Uh, I'm, I'm hoping it's not going to be too hot for her. Um, mm. Obviously, with weather like this, you don't want to be <laughs> in hospital trying to have a baby, but we'll see. Maybe the English summer will look after her. Yes. Yeah, we still do have some cold days in the summer, so, you know, you can get lucky. There's our BA A320 shuttle service. Great view there of her taxi. Is this, uh, I've just been shown this by one of the guys at TAS. Is this a bit too uh, preemptive, chat? Let us know. Is this going to cause a riot? No. Huh? There you go. What do you think? <laughs> Wind up, aren't you? You're going to hang that out the window all day. Oh, it's in for sale in the shop? Okay, there you go. If you want to get all of that, guys, head over to the Aviation Society shop and uh, go and get yourself one. There you go. Probably uh, not give, won't give one of them to me dad, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
And uh, Michael Curtis, thank you very much for the 380 Super Chat. Uh, thank you very much, dude, saying better camera work than mine at Leeds Bradford yesterday. <laughs> thank you, dude. Thanks for supporting the channel. Hope you had a great trip anyway, though. Yeah, it can be good for spotting there, especially on a windy day. Challenging conditions for the pilots. <laughs> Unsubbed after that. Listen, I'm only showing you what got brought in down here. It's not my fault. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we were just saying, Daniel, with the mics muted. If City don't win now, he's going to have to go back to that shop and collect all them. <laughs> <laughs> Take them all apart. <laughs> there you go, off to Shania, the uh, EasyJet A320 that was holding for quite a while. Now well on her way. A couple of aircraft pinging up on the ground. There's a Vueling as well to Barcelona. An A320 pinging up on the ground too. And a Scandinavian already making a return. Oi, cap on the edge. You what? Oi, cap. Talking of caps. Oh, yeah. Talking of caps. If you are not a VIP of the channel, ladies and gents, and you want to be in with a chance of winning an airliner's life cap on today's stream, within about the next five or ten minutes, I'm just setting it up. Hit the dollar symbol, then click join to become a VIP. The reason we're doing it VIP only is because I'm testing the, the giveaway system before we give away these models uh, from Gemini Jets. So if you want to be in with a chance of winning that, uh, make sure you're a channel VIP, and I'll be giving you the keyword to type in the chat in a few minutes. As uh, Dominic uh, returns for two months of business class, saying every stream of you guys is absolutely amazing. Thank you for the unbelievable work. Thank you very much, dude. That's very kind of you, mate. Oh, no, is that easy jet holding as well? Oh, gosh. Oh, Whiskey India, the flight uh, on the A320 to Pisa this time. And uh, yeah, looks like she's uh, going to hold for a little bit. I don't know how long. It's usually like an hour, though. Usually an hour. Sometimes less. <laughs> I'm also collecting my mum from the airport after today's stream as well. Livable. Uh, no, Manchester. Nice. Doing the old family airport run. Uh, she's flying into an airport I had, I'd never heard of before with Tui. So maybe someone in the chat could keep an eye on that. See what's, I believe it's going to be running late, though. Um, 1.40 it was due in, so obviously I wouldn't be getting there till about half two, really, when she gets through uh, immigration and passport control and all that. Uh, but apparently it's running an hour late, so probably like half three we're talking, maybe four a clock. I've got to wait around for that. Um, the airport is called Lamasia Term. <laughs> ter term me? Yeah, with two E Airlines it's on a 737-800, so. Never heard of it. No, and the, the, the IATA code is Sierra Uniform Foxtrot. Suff. Hasn't your mum been to a few places like that before that have been, like, really it's, difficult yeah. to say? I think Provetsa was the last one. I suppose that's not the worst. Uh, and there was another one before that. I don't know. She, she loves Tui. But for some reason with Tui, she always ends up in these strange places. I, I don't know <laughs> By why. accident, or on I, I guess they're on sale because no one could pronounce them, maybe. Oh, geez, this was very quiet. I missed it. But well, I know Matt tracked it in anyway. He did. Right, so in honor of the easy jet, guys, um, we're going to test this. So, you need... There are no eligible users to win. Okay, right, got you. So, what you need to do is type exclamation mark hold in the chat. <laughs> exclamation mark hold in the chat. I'll put it as well as, as the airlines live so you guys can see yep. how to, to see that. Like that. And uh, get that typed if you're a VIP of the channel and you want to potentially win a brand new Airliners Live cap. We're testing the giveaway system. 
before next week's shows. Yes, and the winner will win an actual cap. So yeah, we are not. We are going to send you a real one. We're not going to just jibate you. Not, not no cap. <laughs> And this is only on YouTube, by the way, guys. Okay, I can see the users coming through. Uh, it is only VIPs here, guys, um, for this cap giveaway, just so that... Obviously, we're just testing at the minute, so... I don't want loads and loads of people entering. So we'll draw it at half... Uh, We'll draw it at 10.30. So if, you, if you're if you a VIP of the channel, type exclamation mark hold in the chat if you want to be in with a chance of winning an Airliner's Life cap on today's show. And a big shout-out to our friends at Gemini Jets, uh, which is the main reason why we're testing the system today, because they've very kindly uh, sponsored the channel with some giveaways of two incredible one-of-two hundred-scale models, the Emirates A380 and the colourful Magic Scheme, and uh, uh, easy uh, uh, British Airways A350. And then we also have a one of 400 British Airways Dreamliner. And probably one of the coolest ones, a uh, little ATR Air Lingus one of 400 scale, which is quite nice, actually. So uh, we will be, uh, we'll be giving those away uh, during next week's shows. We're going to do one, uh, sorry, two on Wednesday. And two on Sunday, guys. So make sure you're tuned in to the shows to be in with a chance of winning those. Uh, you only get one entry, guys. You only get one entry. It doesn't matter how many times you spam it. So just type it in once. Yeah, they're all... All the Gemini Jets models are die-cast, as usual, and Gemini 200 and 400s. And if you become a VIP today as well, guys, uh, that means your VIP will last to both giveaways. One's on Wednesday on the evening show from 4pm and one's on Sunday next week, so a week tomorrow on the Super Sunday show so. yeah, and there's two models in each giveaway to, to give away, one is going to be VIP only, and the other is going to be opened up uh, across the viewers and uh, Ian Brownbill, welcome back for 11 months of premium economy membership, thank you very very much for that welcome, cheers dude, that's a long time support, have you typed it in Matty boy? <laughs> <coughs> hey, you, no can, you can win. You no. should. You I should. Ain't you. Never, you never know. This you is where know. Matt wins now. It's gonna, gonna save us on the postage cost. I know. I'll just take my cap off here, on that. <laughs> Have that one. What time on Wednesday? As I don't get back from the office until five thirty. Okay, let's uh, let's do it. Um, yeah, give everyone a chance to get home. Let's draw the giveaway. Uh, so, I'm not going to tell you when, because you have to tune into the stream, but at some point after 5.30 then, so it gives everyone a chance to get home. Yeah. All right? Yeah, tune in, and uh, when we get everyone in and we, we, we feel like everyone's about, and then we'll uh, do the giveaway draw. Yeah, good uh, good thought, actually, yeah, because people won't be in until later on, so yeah. thanks well, for that. So also picking up on the ground, the Terminal 2 here at Manchester Airport right now, is a 2E Dreamliner heading off to Florida, uh, Melbourne in particular, to 787-9 Dreamliner, the first wide-body departure after the King of the Skies. Oh, there's Matt Smith. I've seen his entry. There you go. Going straight Hi. in. Give Matt Smith five times luck for being on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we keep, keep it very fair, yeah. Yep, the mods are welcome to join in, of course. They're VIPs, I think. All of them are VIPs, to be fair, out of their own their own pocket yeah if YouTube could sort that out so we can give our mods free VIP that would be that would be quite nice yeah but a uh, nice touchdown there from the KLM 105 left in from Amsterdam Johnny Carver good morning to you welcome two minutes left before we roll the giveaway Looks like the Sun Express is lining up on 05 left to take off. Was I still on the screen for that? That or uh, 
It would appear so, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I looking was... at the replay. I could see me tracking the... Uh... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying to set up a desktop capture for this uh, for this giveaway. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Yeah, <laughs> sorry guys. We've listen. We've done that at least twice on this show. You just got to laugh I'm, uh, you, at this you, point. You need that Matt, Matt emote for that. Yeah, my bad. I apologise. You would have seen it in my sunglass reflection, but, <laughs> but you didn't have I haven't got them on today. There you go. Here we go. Sun Express seven three seven eight hundred heading off to Antalya, Turkey. <laughs> the Andy comes emotes. No, it's, that was my fault. I'll take, I'll take the L for that. Sorry, guys. I was looking at another screen, trying to get something ready. But you guys could appreciate how smooth I moved that tripod. Yeah, I mean, you got a good view there of how we're doing it on airliners like. And you could really appreciate the airliners like cap as well. Yeah. That you could be See winning. I, mean? I was just showing off what you could win, guys. <laughs> right. One minute to go. We've got a bit of a break in the traffic. Should we do it? Yeah, we have actually. Just a little couple of... Actually, we've got Lufthansa about to touch down. A321, okay. so maybe just as soon as that. Right, I'll put you back on, ready. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to pitch in, pitch in, just to celebrate. There you go, guys. You can watch both live if you preferred the Andy view. You look one-handed, <laughs> not messing about. What kind of muscles? <laughs> Tense <up. laughs> Oh, he's, I'll get, he's I'll get distracted. Now. He's under pressure. I'll get distracted. Oh. All right, John. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I'm just going to walk off now. Right? No, I give up. That's too hard. Uh, yeah. There you go. You right, here we go. Giveaway time. Let's switch over to this view. You can see it. Yeah, we can see it. I'm not leaking anything. I'm sure I'm not. Right, so are we ready, chat? I don't know what's going to happen when I click this button. We're just going to We're just gonna see. You ready? Three, two, one. Bosch, Sunny 23 UK, there you go. Actually, it's one of our mods. <laughs> Actually, a Twitch moderator, there you yeah. go. You have just won an Airliners Live cap, and it's quite obvious that the system works. So thank you very, very much. Get a message to me on the old Discord, and um, there, there you go. go. Absolute legends. You've got a cap sorted. She deserves it as well, to be fair. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> she puts in so much work. I think she's a mod, a, a VIP on Twitch and YouTube. Yeah. Uh, that obviously doesn't increase your odds on giveaways, but it's just very kind to do. There you go. Enjoy that, Sonny. Thank you very much for uh, supporting the channel as well by uh, being a mod. And uh, we will be uh, using that system over the next couple of shows to give you some awesome models, guys. So make sure you're tuning in. RF Voyager overhead. Okay. Let me have a, let me have a look. Nice. Pound fish. Uh, right, so that's that's going to be down the 2-3 uh, end. Uh, and it's at 32,000 feet. Oh, gosh, that's going to be so hard. Potentially, it might be trailing. I'm not 100% sure, though. Uh, what the? It's not there yet, mate. It's going to be... Uh... That should be visible now. I... I can't see yeah, it. It's not far away now. Yeah, I can't. I don't think we're going to see it. I mean, maybe Matt. Yeah, it might not be even trailing that. Yeah, it's it's literally just passing over us now. Yeah, and it's, it's grey as well. So if it's not leaving a trail behind, then we've got absolutely no chance. But thank you very much for... Uh... Thanks very much for the heads up, though. If yeah, there's any interesting quad jets going overhead, let us know. We'd love to catch those on the street. Paula saying, now line is live. How are you guys today? Must be nice weather there in the UK. Yeah, it's absolutely glorious here in the UK today. Uh, it was, uh, you know, it's going to be a nice day when it's 22 degrees at 10 a.m., guys. Nuts. And uh, it's going to uh, it's going to only get hotter, which is uh, which is nice. And uh, the Twitch chat is just full of rigged and scam. And <laughs> <laughs> I love Twitch chat, you know. I absolutely love Twitch chat. <laughs> We've got a Brussels Airlines in the new scheme about to land on 05 left. And I think they're going to squeeze out a Scandinavian A320 off to Stockholm. Oi, cap on the ridge. Oi! Full cap. This one's for Sunny, I guess. 
Before that departs, we can see the Tui Dreamliner now on the taxi out on Matt Cam. We love Matt Cam, guys. Let's get some 10 out of 10s in the chat for Matt up on the car park roof today. Doing a mega, mega job, as always. Great stuff. Here we go. Scandinavian on a roll. We've also got... Is that an E145 on the taxi out here? Yeah. Sorry, it's a Mitsubishi uh, CRJ. On the taxi out. And Baller says, why don't you try and guess what I'm doing whilst watching the stream at 5.34pm in the afternoon in Western Australia? Now, at risk of being a cliche, you've got to be having a barbecue, surely. <laughs> got to be having a barbecue. That would be very nice. Or maybe a little dip in the sea. Whatever takes your fancy. Yeah. Just surfing. Well, it's probably something we don't do here in the UK, I guess. Well, we do have barbecues. I went to my local butcher yesterday. Would have been Friday, obviously. You got your flip-flops. Oh, yes. Well, and it was <laughs> it was literally like the queue was out the door. Like everyone was going there for all the barbecue meat. Nice. And there's me just getting the, <laughs> the regular shop. <laughs> Mate, them pictures of them steaks you told me were literally bigger than my size nines. Yeah, <laughs> they were big. I love going to local butchers. There's the Brussels Airlines, A320 from Brussels. And the Lufthansa A321 pulling on to stand on Matt Cam as well, looking nice. Don't need a, a much more of an excuse to move away from the spotty bus. It's going to be the hottest day of the year today, St. Charlie. I think, yeah, like the hottest day so far, I think you could say. Yeah. I think there's plenty more pretty warm days. And Paul says, corner. no, I'm uh, flying, recreating the Qantas research flight. London <laughs> Heathrow to Sydney, Australia, non-stop in the flight sim. Nice. Which, uh, which sim are you flying in, Paula? That sounds great. And uh, good luck. That's a long flight. It is. <laughs> we'll see you on the Wednesday show. <laughs> And Adam, uh, member for 31 months, crew seat, uh, say nice surprise show this morning. Top quality as always. Hope Andy has the factor 50 on today. Thank you very much, uh -huh. dude, for the 31 months. I don't actually have any sun cream on at the moment. I'm not, it's not like crazy UV today is a thing. Yeah, and we are keeping an eye on it. We will swap over if it does get too hot and yeah. go in little stints, but it, it's all right at the minute. Lovely breeze at the moment. And uh, Sonny, thank you very much for gifting five Airliners Live memberships. Wow. Absolute legend to celebrate the win. That's absolutely awesome. Gone to Todd Fargus, uh, Flying Limits, Loz, MDS, and uh, Shribe Vela, 42. There you go. Thank you, Sonny. Very kind of you. Thanks for that. Get yeah, two seven three seven next to touchdown. That's in from Bergerac. Oh, Greece in the runway. Great Get landing. Some, some cream on your donut. <laughs> and uh, looking on Matt Camp, looking glorious. Heinen, A three thirty, being moved around. I wonder if they go out today, because they obviously fly on Sundays. I think, like, Mondays and Wednesdays, but I'm not sure about Saturdays. Do you know, Matt? I think, I assume they would do if they flew in today, right? Um, I think they're flying both Saturday and Sunday and, like, maybe two days during the week as well, Andy. That's great. Two or three days during the week. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, because only recently we added the, the Sunday service, and... Correct, yeah. That, that was great for us on the Super Sunday show. Yep. And is Go. anyone watching the show live from Cosford, ladies and gents? Let us know in the chat. <laughs> Are you visiting? Are you attending? You may see someone you recognise tomorrow. Ah. Possibly. Outed. A Scouse guy <laughs> <laughs> who goes to all the air shows as well. Maybe there. And if anyone's going tomorrow, let us know. Here's that Tui Dreamliner on a taxi out. 
great to see this over on the apron cam as well. How are you doing it in infinite flight? Nice. I've never used that infinite flight. I've heard really good things about it though. Like yeah, the, I have. the people who use it seems to be like proper diehard fans. Yeah, it's uh, all about Microsoft Flight Symphony. It's a bit like Waze, you know, the the navigation app. Yeah. People who use it are like Mate, religious. Our old boss used to just buzz off Waze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried using it again. It's it's okay. It's all right. I'm just so invested in like Google now that Google I just, just use Google Maps for yeah. everything. I've got like locations saved and all sorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Google Maps is really good. When they, a few years ago when they added the, tra the traffic to it as well. And now they've even got like... The most efficient route, haven't they, for your car, depending on your fuel type. Yeah. And it gives you the little leaf icon when you're on the, the most efficient route, which winds uh, Sam up because she's got a uh, a 3.5 litre V6 in her car. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> there is no leaf hype with that car. And Guy, thank you very much for tuning in from Hanover, Germany. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Hope you're doing well. So, uh, rolling down the runway now is a Ryanair 737. So, what's up with the EasyJet holding? It's, uh, it's what they do to keep their on-time departure stats. <laughs> Sorry, on-time pushback from the gate stats. Yeah. Right, they just push back and then just wait. Right. I think it's a bit naughty, I'll be honest. But Yeah, from a business point of view, there's a few benefits. Like, Because I, I assume, I don't know the exact detail here, but EasyJet use the actual stands. On, like, they don't use remote stands. Um, they often use, I think, jet bridges, but certainly they use steps. And obviously, them, them gates they pay for. So to get the aircraft off the gate as well, that frees up the gate. It prevents, like, a plane delay in the next plane that's coming in. You know, if, if this one's running late and the next one wants to use that stand... But also, yeah, ultimately, the, the metric they go by success uh, and selling it to the airport and stuff is, uh, like, uh, how efficiently they can get off the blocks on time and things. So they can do that, and, and then uh, by, by doing that, they might need to wait elsewhere on the airfield for, like, an hour. It is a bit strange. Yeah. There's no other airline that seems to do it here at Manchester. Um, if, if another airline does have to hold there, it's usually, like, a legit... ATC delay or something. And off goes that to Dreamliner to Melbourne in Florida. 787-9, five years old. Yeah, the Dash 9 Dreamliner, I think, is the, probably the most natural looking. The Dash 8 definitely looks a little bit too short yeah. from the outside. And the Dash 10 does look... It looks cool, but it does look very long in comparison. You can really spot the Dash 10s from a mile off. I know KLM have quite a lot of them. Uh, obviously, we sometimes see them here in Manchester with Etihad. They sometimes send them. Uh, Saudi as well. It looks like on MatCam they've connected the pushback truck to the Scandinavian, so we'll be seeing that pushing back very shortly. We'll keep an eye on that for you. But lined up on the runway, we've got the uh, Lingus ATR. She is heading out to Dublin to nine-year-old uh, ATR-72. And yeah, if anyone wants to play bingo, you're more than welcome to. Do exclamation bingo in the chat to get your card generated. And I, I see people just play along anyway without mentioning it. But uh, feel free to get play along. And if you do get a full house or two lines or one line bingo, let us know. Not many people have had full house, though. And uh, John Russell, thank you very much for the nine months of Airliners Live membership saying, I'm going to Cosford. There you go. Nice, dude. Hope you have a great time. Great. I'll look out for you, dude. I know it's always tricky when you've got that many people, but sometimes you do bump into people you know. And if you see us, give us a, a wave. I'll wear this cap, I think. And I'll probably have a camera with me too. Is there anything special on tomorrow? I have not really looked, to be fair. I mean, there's all the usual 
I believe like BBMF and, and all that kind of things and typhoons and whatnot, which really excite me. But yeah, I, I've not really looked into the details of it. I prefer just to show up to these things and just get wowed by the different things they have. It's kind of what I did with like the air shows last year. Nice, Sonny. Yeah, everyone's loving the uh, lanyards. We've pretty much completely sold out, I think. Yeah, I think so. Maybe one or two more left on the website, but I'm not sure about that. It's good to see people putting in the VIP lounge and stuff. They've got theirs delivered, and yeah. they're super happy with them. But that was, like, probably the fastest selling item we've ever done. Yeah, we, we do have a few held back um, in case uh, any go missing in the post and things like that. We usually give it a couple of weeks for everyone's to arrive and to make sure everyone's received theirs. And if after a couple of weeks we've not had any reports of any losses and things, then um, we may have a few more to add to the stock. So if you have missed out, uh, you've not completely missed out just yet, uh, as long as Royal Mail do a good job and deliver everyone's packages. <laughs> 55,000 people attending Cosford. Whoa. Really? How is that going to work, like, traffic-wise? God knows. Not that going to be chaos. That's definitely the worst part about air shows is when you're driving there. A lot of people prefer to get, like, the train or public transport to get rid of that stress, but I don't know. I just like having my car places. Yeah. Like, Southport was pretty ridiculous. Just getting back out, you know, because everyone kind of... There's a big mass exodus of everyone leaving at the end of the event. That's it. It's because everyone leaves at the same time. Yeah. So, for me, I'd prefer... If I was doing some sort of air show, I'd probably... It sounds daft, but I'd prefer to go for the fly-in and the fly-out days. Because oh, a yeah. lot of the aircraft transit in, like, on the Friday... So you get, like, some really nice arrivals, some great pictures of them coming in, and it's nowhere near as sort of popular as the air show is. And uh, you still get your mint pictures of, uh, of everything coming in. But I would love to see a, a Typhoon display get some pictures of that at some point. That would be uh, pretty crazy. It's best when there's, like, a couple of clouds and things. They can really yeah. get that condensation on the wings and stuff. Brian's going by train. Good shout. And oh, and immediately after, John Russell says, I went by train last year. It was a big mistake <laughs> well, taking the well. car this year. So, Brian, I hope you don't well, feel a little bit too put off by that. Yeah, I think with the car thing, though, like, you'll be fine as long as you're, like, patient and you're kind of willing to kind of sit in your car, maybe bring some snacks and drinks, especially. I think it's going to be boiling hot, yeah, definitely. That was the problem with Southport last year. It was, like, one of the hottest days of the year, and... Southport Airshow, we were all quite burnt and sunstroked and been out on the beach for hours and hours, you know, in the sun. And then we got back to the car and then it, we had to sit there for, I don't even know how long. It felt like a long time, though. You know, over an hour, maybe two hours, I don't know, to get out of oh, the no. town. I'm not, I can't be doing that. <laughs> I can't, can't remember be. how long it was, though. Like, I wasn't timing it. Yeah. We were kind of just like zombies. <laughs> Yeah, I get stressed in, like, big traffic gam jams and stuff like that. Yeah. I, like, uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm not a big fan. But I do, um, we did go to the, uh, a really cool little mini display is, is the Valley uh, Families Day. Uh, that was great. Uh, they had, like, people jumping out with parachutes. Uh, they had uh, uh, the Reds at one point. I'm pretty sure they had the uh, Typhoon as well. Nice. So there was some nice movements on that. And, uh, yeah, it's just a nice, cool little airport to uh, to go and be involved with. I love the Eurofighter Typhoons. They are really, really cool planes. How they can do uh, extended maneuvers at uh, supersonic speeds is, is ridiculous. I'm going to Cosford via YouTube. I mean, yeah, Danny, I mean, I'm not sure if Planes TV are covering it. I assume they might. They probably are, but uh, check them guys out because they do uh, live streams of the air shows, and that's who I usually watch. I was watching one of the Duxford 
shows the other day, and they had the um, Aero Legends Dakota flying, and I was watching that live. It was really good. And they had, like, the commentary and all the facts about the aircraft and stuff as well. Another Ryanair 737. This one's also heading off to Dublin. Quite a popular route. I think that's the most popular route uh, destination from Manchester Airport is Dublin these days. With not only Ryanair flying there, but also Aer Lingus. Um, can't think of anyone else who flies there regularly, but obviously Aer Lingus also including uh, their subsidiaries of uh, Emerald Airlines and Emerald Airlines UK. Uh, and yeah, Ryanair fly a lot of routes between them uh, between the two airports. Sounds like a Neo, it certainly is. It's the Europe Car Special heading off to Jersey. Nice little hop. It was also a Europe Car Special that flew to Istanbul on the inaugural flight yesterday. So it might be the same aircraft. Wouldn't surprise me. Off she goes. And a beautiful head-on shot with Matt coming to Scandinavian being pushed back on stand. That's got to be, Matt, probably the best stand for you there, isn't it, that one? The end ones here, mate, have just, like, been absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Love it. Just get all the engine, nice engine view and stuff when they're just turning and stuff. It's magic. Yeah, looking great, mate. Um, looking absolutely 10 out of 10. I just need to jump off for a minute. I'm just gonna, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you just stay on my cam, be good. Yep, no worries. If you are enjoying the show today, uh, feel free to uh, smash that like button. And uh, Foxy Whale, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime for two months. Absolute legend supporting the channel today. And Aidan Thomas, how are you doing, dude? Returning for 13 months, my guy. Thank you very, very much for the long-term support of the channel. Feel free to share the stream around in uh, discords and things like that, guys, if you are enjoying it today. And if you want to watch in the very best quality, then uh, head over to our YouTube channel, Search for Airliners Live, where we're broadcasting in 4K for you all today. And if you'd like to help support the costs of today's stream you can do so by clicking the dollar symbol then clicking super chat or by using our ko-fi links in the chat where we receive 100 percent of your donation that just helps cover the costs of things like mac cam the extra encode in the extra networks a little bit so matt can get himself a nice bit of dinner on the way home and uh keeps oh, yeah. the streams free for everybody as well uh we do love bringing you these shows as much as we can and uh, Matt Cam has been probably our most popular addition to the streams over the last few years. And uh, we definitely want to keep that coming for you guys. And you see they're pushing that aircraft all the way back down the alley so that it can uh, just make the right turn on the uh, taxi out. And Kevin, thank you very much, mate. Really appreciate that. And uh, thanks to all the community as well for the very kind comments on the uh, sponsorship video. Uh, we're very proud to have Scan on board. It's a company I've used years before Airliners Live, and we're very proud to have them sponsoring the channel. We do have another video coming um, which is the build video of the PC that they gave me a great deal on as well. So we'll be releasing that in the next week or so. And Terry Edwards, cheers for gifting an Airliners Live membership. That's very kind of you, mate. That's gone to uh, Practically Geek. Enjoy that free membership. And Nathan Jones, thank you very much for the three months of business class saying congrats on the 550 milestone. Thank you very much, Nathan. Very, very kind of you, dude. Yeah, Foxy, Matt Cam's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really nice view. Love it. 
Yeah, we're doing not doing great. Thanks, uh, thanks, Aiden. So this Scandinavian is uh, heading back to Oslo. It's 16 years old from 2006. Kilo, Kilo Alpha Lima on the reg at the A3 2200. And once that aircraft has been pushed back, you'll see the uh, truck be disconnected. And the pins removed. And then that'll get shown to the guys in the flight deck before the aircraft begins its taxi. But I'm going to quickly run upstairs and grab you uh, this departure, guys. Star Alliance, stand by. He's uh, just arrived, just in time. Not to worry, not to worry. Yeah, Star Alliance uh, Lufthansa just lining up, ready to depart. Tony, thank you, mate. Cheers for gifting five airliners live membership. What an absolute gent. Thank you very, very much, Tony. And uh, that's gone to uh, Kevin, Chrissy, Trevor, and uh, one, two, three, uh, Sue Snow and Nigel Nixon, all receiving gifted memberships there from community member Tony. Thank you very, very much, dude. And uh, Lee Davies, thank you very much for gifting an Airliners Live membership as well. That's gone to Phil. Thank you very much, Lee. Great to see you, mate. Hope you're having a great weekend so far. Thanks for supporting the uh, community in the stream, uh, guys, with those gifted memberships. I'm wishing I was fishing. It says, uh, thank you for the gifted membership. I'm a regular viewer. Nice one. Well, there you go. Enjoy that gifted membership. Hope you enjoy uh, using the emotes in the chat. And the Ryanair touching down from Berlin. <laughs> if City win the Champions League, would the fire engines do the water thing over the aircraft when it lands at Manchester? I'm not sure. I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> I mean, they don't seem to do it when we get new airlines and stuff. So, uh, maybe. I mean, maybe with it being a big... Manchester event, but uh, I wouldn't count on it, is, is all I'd say. Uh, yeah, I went to the bathroom. I looked at the radar and I was like, right, there's no heavy, exciting movements. So I've got a minute or two just to scoot off. And then, like, the one movement that did come out <laughs> was a star. It was a light. special. It's always the way, mate. Yeah. Big, I was going to, I was going to nip up anyway. Don't worry. So there is pinging up on the ground right now. An Air France A220. Now it's on a weird stand. It's on a remote stand. Now I could be wrong here, but I believe one flew in uh, either yesterday or the day before and got stuck here at Manchester for some reason. Maybe it's got, it's gone tech. I don't know. But also, yesterday, there was an Air France flight from Paris Charles de Gaulle to Manchester that took off at Paris, flew in the air for a bit, and it was another A220, and then started squawking an emergency squawk code, and then returned back to Paris. So, why? what's going on? It didn't seem to pass over 10,000 feet, which may signal a pressurization issue of some kind. Um, and I know for a fact that the Air France's, oh sorry, the A220s have a known fault with the um, the engines that I remember Swiss, who were the, the first ever airline to receive the A220s, they had an issue with them from the get-go where they were having uh, engine shutdown problems. I don't know how serious it was, but it was enough to ground the entire Swiss fleet. Now, we love the A220s on the channel, and I think they're pretty well-received 
across the globe. In fact, Air Baltic are now just entirely A220s. And they are great aircraft. They're, 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 they're very efficient. They, they, they sound great. They look great. They have huge windows. And they're a, a really, really good modern airliner for the kind of, you know, smaller capacity, simple flights that might not require uh, the range and the the extra seats that you can get in like an A320 or a 737 and they've done really well really yeah, really well of the A220s yeah they're a, it's a great aircraft and James yeah I saw your message it does seem to have been removed by a moderator but uh, yeah no there's no intentional classing with Simon today Simon's an awesome content creator here from Manchester Airport we love his content we have it on in the on the office very regularly and uh, if you do want to catch another awesome Manchester content creator, make sure you check out Simon Lowe's channel. Uh, the team, uh, or a lot of the team members are at Cosford tomorrow. Uh, and we wanted to be here for any football traffic today, which is why we advertised it uh, a, a week or so ago that we'd be live today instead of tomorrow. But it's not, it's not a regular thing, so don't, don't worry. Don't worry, dude. Yeah, we don't. We don't actually have, like, agreed times to try and work together when it comes to the Manchester streamers because at the end of the day, everyone's got their own lives. You know, Mac Aviation, he, he has a job, for example, he's got to work around, and it's, it's kids yeah. and things. And, you know, we've been there before where we have to just do what we can to get live where we can. And, and at the end of the day, like, when it comes to live stream in Manchester Airport, it makes sense to stream different time slots uh, because, obviously, then the viewers have got you know, they don't have to make that choice, you know, if, if one person's live at one time slot and another at another time slot. So naturally, we do find that there's no issues, really. There's no contention between us. And, um, yeah, I mean, we're all very supportive of each other. And yeah, absolutely. We, we've even had um, Mac Aviation, for example, on, on this live stream before. And he's a great guy. And in fact, if anyone was watching yesterday on his stream, I actually popped on his live stream for a little... Uh, a couple of minutes, maybe 10, 15 minutes, and had a lovely chat with him. Everything uh, trouble related. <laughs> yeah, you didn't, uh, when you turned up, all his cables stopped working again. Did uh, yeah, well, yeah, we said that, but luckily it was all good this time. Good. But yeah, no, we, we, we're supportive. As, uh, and, and, and a lot of streamers go live when we're live as well, guys, extremely regularly. And it is what it is. Everyone just streams when they want to stream. And you guys can just choose what you want to watch. But as we say, uh, Saturdays are not a regular thing for us here on the channel. So, uh, yeah, definitely. definitely not worth getting too stressed over in the chat. Um, as Tom and Ant have gifted five airliners live memberships to the community. Absolute legends. Wow. Thank you very, very much. Uh, and that's gone to Richard Hinks, uh, Karen, Andrew Dickinson, uh, Paul, and uh, one, two, three, four. There should be one coming through at some point soon as well. Thank you guys for supporting the channel with those gifted memberships. And uh, Guy just wants a big shout out to his mum and dad, John and Gwyneth. So oh, right. the big fans, uh, I know they'll be watching, always walking down around runway to enjoy the weather. Nice one, guys. And big shout out to John and Gwyneth. Hope you're enjoying today's stream. Let me yeah. have a look at the old Kofi page as well, because I think we had a little bit of support coming through on there as well. Thank you, guys. Being very supportive today on the stream. Appreciate it. Thank you. Scandinavian, A320, heading off to Oslo here in the classic SAS colours. And Tom, if you're at the RVP, I have your lanyard here for you, mate. That's it, now I'm going to get robbed out. Someone's going to come in and rob this <laughs> lanyard. Of I know, it's worth worth a fortune, that thing. It is. I've also got a, a model of his, apparently. I don't know, like, Sam apparently got him a model. Oh, cool. From a Jet 2 plane when we flew to, I think, Malaga, I'm going to assume. I don't know. Very nice. I don't know the full story. I've just got it here. You've got it. It's, it's here. Whatever it is, it's here. <laughs> and John, thank you very much for supporting the channel on our Kofi page saying thank you for the lanyard which arrived yesterday. John, you don't have to thank me for you buying something off me. We, we thank you for supporting the channel with your merchandise order, first of all. I'm glad you like it. And uh, thanks again also for supporting the channel with your, uh, your donation as well. That's very, very kind of you. Kind of cool how YouTube have added the extra little drop down for uh, support. Yeah, that, that's really helpful actually, isn't it? Yeah, for, for us especially. I think you can scroll back quite a bit as well. That's, that's actually so helpful. I love that. I don't think I've missed anything. 
That's cool. YouTube, YouTube's the one. They're, they're a great they, platform. They're doing so, so much. Yeah, whereas <laughs> Twitch can't quite say the same for. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, James. Yeah, no, that's that was literally every week, both days, and then we'd move our times, and then they'd move their times. That That's a completely... Uh, uh, mods, I don't think we need to delete James's message. I'll be honest; it's, it's pretty, it's pretty fair what he's saying. Um, but yeah, this is this is a completely different story. I think this is literally just a one-off show because we're busy tomorrow. So yeah, it's, it's nothing to worry about, dude. Yeah, if, if mods, if, if someone, uh, if someone's just putting some valid criticism in the chat, they're well, welcome to say that. Like, I'm, I'm happy. To, I don't want the chat just to be a little yes people. You know, just like. Yeah, kind of yeah, like some other and it's streamers. Good to like, it's good to clear clear this up as well because obviously we have called out other channels for doing it, so it's only fair that people call us out as well. So I'm more than happy to uh, to explain why we're live today. And like I say, dude, feel free to have both streams on. Maybe watch Simon if you prefer watching Simon. We definitely recommend anybody in our channel to go and enjoy Simon's content. So uh, whatever you're doing, guys, as long as you're enjoying it, that's all that matters here on the channel. About to taxi out here on main cam is the TAP Air Portugal, Embraer 190 long range, heading back to her home in Lisbon. Uh, Matt Cam should be picking up the Aer Lingus pushback yeah, as well. Yeah, I've lost Matt Cam actually. Are you, you're not doing a battery change, Matt, no? I've just done one now, mate. Okay, all right, I'll, uh, I'll give it a sec, see if it comes back. Nice one, dude. Here she is, Watermelon Airlines here on main cam. Very pretty little Embraer. I suppose this is what you call a direct competition when it comes to the Airbus A220. Uh, although the Airbus used the new generation of uh, engines that we see on the likes of the Neos and things like that, this is uh, obviously a bit of an older generation on the Embraer 190. So naturally the Airbus A220 is going to be more efficient and I don't know much about Embraer but certainly on Airbus one of the main philosophies is to keep the differences between the aircraft or the airframe should I say uh, quite minimal from a point of view of a pilot so it means that if you wanted to transition from like an A320 to an A330 the step between in, in regards to training wouldn't be as big but when Airbus acquired the A220 or the C series as it was known as under Bombardier then obviously uh, they acquired the uh, Bombardier style flight deck there that they had designed so that change between the A220 and the A320 for example is quite a bit bigger than usual so obviously if an, if, if an, an airline wanted to go down the route of the A220s you could think of like certainly um, British Airways would be a good example of a, a fleet that would benefit from that particular airline uh, aircraft because they use a lot of Embraer's um, especially for their domestic routes and the, e uh, the A220 can it fly to London City? I think it can um, so you know they would benefit from that but obviously British Airways massively have invested in Airbus already they would need quite a big fleet of A220s to make it worthwhile to introduce that pilot program that trains pilots to go on to that because it's a much bigger bridge than training pilots to go between you know the uh, the A3, uh, whatever's uh, A350 and the A320, for example, that they have in their fleet. Uh, but they also have Boeings as well, so uh, and, and obviously the Embraers as well. They're pretty popular in the British Airways fleet. We don't see them very often here at Manchester. Uh, I know they fly a lot out of London City. I think British Airways did have actually I think it was last year for a very short period of time a London City route from Manchester another big deal as well with the Embraers and the A220s is they can't carry freight and a big I wouldn't say a big portion but certainly a portion of of uh, British Airways revenue when it comes to the domestic services is working with Royal Mail, which is like the British national um, kind of postal service. And uh, you can actually see the Royal Mail badges on the, the back of the planes, uh, and they use their infrastructure here in the UK to also transport freight 
for them, so like letters and parcels. So if you wanted a letter sending to somewhere in the London region, they probably would use a Manchester to London flight on that, depending on like the class and things like that. Just dropped you a DM, Matt. No, really. I'm excited to see this Aer Lingus UK A330, which is now pushed back on the apron. An A330 300 heading off to Orlando. What's everyone saying? Congratulations in the chat for. Let's see what the good news is. Uh, Air Ladders Live, silver wedding anniversary this Tuesday for me and Gordon. Uh, where we have, uh, where have the last twenty five years gone? Saying Julian Clough. That's a long time membership. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. What? 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 what you get? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, nice one, guys! Congratulations. Yeah, that's great news. Twenty five years. Long, long time. Going strong as well. Absolutely. Uh, yes, yeah, Amy. There certainly is plenty of room for for multiple viewers. I mean, we've you know we still pull in thousands of viewers, even though there's plenty of other channels that you can watch. And I think you know, different channels offer different things as well. We've always gone for the more like a live show rather than a live stream uh, aspect. You know, like we kind of just try and really showcase the the best of Manchester Airport in the hours that we stream. Uh, while putting on a show for you guys, we'll have the music at the intro, we'll have like the graphics on screen, and obviously the multicam setup, and we've got like the proper audio setup, and often have guests on too. And then obviously, um, the I guess the people, right? So the people make up the community. So, you know, you guys might tune in to hear what bashful things or what food talk we discuss. I don't know if you do, if that's your plate, but. Um, Certainly in the chat, though, it's great to see like the same kind of people and the really positive vibes and the great moderators and things as well that you can just kind of hang out with. You don't even have to be that big of an aviation geek to appreciate how how nice it can be here. Yeah, it's one of the things we're, we're most proud of at the channel is the community, and and uh, it's just great just to see regulars tuning in. I love how we welcome new viewers into the community as well. That's uh, That's awesome. And uh, I just like how engaged everybody is as well. It's just really nice to have a nice busy chat, great comments on YouTube, and it just makes it really good fun uh, what we're doing, which is which is the main thing. And it kind of just keeps us keeps us motivated to to keep trying new things, to keep trying to push the bar a little bit higher on uh, on what's possible. And uh, yeah, we'll continue to do that. And uh, yeah, we, we're just trying trying new things. Really, the midweek show. Last week was was a really nice change. We just completely uh, stripped the show right back to basics and uh, just focused on good audio, a good camera feed, and just a really good chat. And uh, I think that show worked really well. You guys seem to love it in the chat. It was... Uh, what's that popping up on screen? Someone sent in a few bitties in that somehow just popped up in the middle of the screen there. <laughs> thank you very much. I don't know where that came from, but thank you very much for the uh, 100 bits. There you go. Absolutely awesome! Wow. Uh, sorry, I'm just uh, I'm just slightly distracted with Matt Commander. It won't be. You know, trust. We got the Aer Lingus UK A330 as well. That's going to be on main cam in a couple of uh, moments. So stick around for that. Probably the loudest departure you'll hear at Manchester Airport. It's the TF6 engines, which are like thunderously loud. And Danny's travels with a six months. Of premium economy, saying uh, Golden Tower and Lanyard on the same day. Yes, please. Dude, that's awesome. I'm glad uh, you're happy with that, and thank you for the continued support. I think uh, I think Matt Cam's uh, unit's got a bit hot. Ah. It's, uh, he's just sent me a picture of the screen, and uh, it does not look like what it should do. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yikes. Don't worry, guys. We'll get it back on. Don't worry about that. Yeah, that's it, Michael. I think that's kind of how we how we look at our shows. is, And it, it kind of ties in as to why people say, oh, why don't you stream for like six hours, seven hours? And honestly, like we, we put so much energy into the streams, and we're trying to be extremely interactive. We're trying to keep the talk going and everything like that. 
I'll be completely honest, three and a half hours, our energy levels just drop off a cliff. It, it, you just you just feel it in yourself. You lose energy. The chat loses energy. It stops being as interactive. And then the show starts to drift more towards just a live feed from the airport, just watching the planes. And that's not what we want for the streams. We always want it to be fun to watch. And our goal is if the stream is fun to watch when it's not live, then we've done a good job. So that's kind of kind of what we're going for with, with our streams. Well, thanks again for the Twitch support, guys. Absolute legends. And uh, Michael, thank you very much, dude. Michael Tsoshi. And uh, Windy Water, hello. Lupin, hello to you. Boxy Whale, great to see you. And uh, Gareth Wilson, a brand new Airliners Live VIP. Welcome in, dude. Enjoy that discounted merchandise with your business class membership. Absolute legend. Here she is, Air Lingus, flight 935 to Orlando, Florida. Honestly, if we could have that tune playing for the whole stream, I would. <laughs> Great sound as well. Beautiful. Love the Air Lingus A330s. Very lucky to get these based here at Manchester Airport. It's the home of Air Lingus UK. And what an addition. Apparently they're going to be announcing new routes apparently as well, or potentially expansion at Manchester, and I think that would go down really well. Still a lot of places in the world that are unserved by Manchester that previously were... Uh, you guys may have seen the news. Uh, Las, Vegas, Las Vegas is restarting with Virgin Atlantic, and I believe that's also going to be an A350-1000. Beautiful. And Charlie, thank you very much for the seven months of business class support, saying, great work, lads. Come on, City. <laughs> there you go. That's my best football impression. Was he a City fan? Well, I would assume so. <laughs> I, was, I was speaking to um, a lovely guy called Airbus Red. Is his oh, name? Legend. Has, yeah, over on the south side yesterday, and he did say something to me. He said, uh, "All these flights going to Istanbul, probably full of you know football, you know people drinking all day and people like, chanting on the plane. And imagine if you're just like a, a regular businessman or something there, and you're suited. Everyone's around you. Oh, <laughs> or you just accidentally booked a, a couple of days away in Turkey, just." years ago yeah and it just happened to just line up with a football yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> great guy though great photography we were there getting i've not edited it yet but we caught the plus ultra a340 that came in as a charter flight for the football uh, i believe the football anyway uh, that came in at manchester airport yesterday yeah, I heard it was to do with uh, wives and uh, like the, the the wider staff of the team. Right, uh, something to do with that. Makes sense. Yes. Here we go. Uh, Lingus uh, lined up, and Matt Cam is back on, folks. So a uh, little break there, but uh, we now have Matt Cam back. So we'll keep an eye on everything that's going on on the apron. I hope you're enjoying today's stream. If you are, if you can smash that like button for us, we'd really appreciate it. And if you are a new viewer. Get involved in the chat. And yeah, Lee, I saw that FedEx returning. That'll be nice. I think they're operating a 7-3, right? Yeah, they've, they've applied for the slots. I don't think it's been completely finalised yet. A couple of different airlines have, actually. Yeah, Norse as well. Yeah, Norse. Yeah, that'd be really good. That'd be a great addition. There she goes, great sound as always. Rumble in the ground across the airfield. The yeah, Alingus A330-300. Mouse-loving lady, no, you have not 
slept through Saturday and woke up on Sunday, don't worry. <laughs> we are uh, live today, uh, hoping to catch a little bit of uh, extra turkey movements. I think we've got a Turkish 777 a bit later on, and also some of the guys are at Cosford tomorrow, so uh, they'll be out enjoying that. So we decided instead of uh, not doing the show at all on Sunday, we'd uh, bring you a little, a little show today uh, instead. And uh, should be a good one. Weather's great, lots of movements, nice and busy. Plenty of people in the chat as well. Yeah, loving it. And Colin saying, uh, great stream as always, guys. Uh, I'm off to Koss on Thursday from Birmingham. Nice, dude. Hope you have a great time. Great stuff. It's going to be really warm there this time of year. Very nice Greek island. Seems to be, certainly here in Manchester, that's quite a good value destination as well in Greece. We were, we've not got anything booked now till September. Uh, and obviously that means the whole summer we're going to be in the UK. Which, uh, we did have a quick nose here. We've got a few Jetsu vouchers and stuff. Uh, holidays and things. And um, yeah, like you can get some decent deals still for the summer. If you're just going away for a couple of days as well, you know, a couple of hundred quid for the three of us. Uh, maybe like 500 quid we could get, maybe like five nights with flights and luggage transfer. Um, full board usually, maybe all inclusive if you're lucky. Uh, and then we've got some vouchers we can use as well, like you normally get when you're like a frequent flyer of Jet 2, they're an executive club, I think they call it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's apparently I'm in that club, apparently. Yeah, me map. and Jen uh, do all of our holidays in the UK, so we're very much last-minute bookers. If the weather's nice, we're looking. And, uh, yeah, we're uh, definitely going to be making the most out of this weather. It does seem, apparently, that we are going to, or we're supposed to have a relatively long, warm summer. So keeping our fingers crossed for that, that'd be good. One place that stood out to us was Gran Canaria, but the only issue with Gran Canaria is when you've got a kid, is like the flight's quite long. It is a long flight. Yeah. I went there once before. It is, yeah. it is a very long flight. Yeah, on a 737. Well, I think they fly the 75 sometimes, so maybe you could, or maybe even the new Neo or something, but you could probably plan days where they're flying better aircraft but I think for the most part it's a 737s I'd just be looking in Spain man. Like, Spain's such a good yeah. place to yeah, go yeah. the food's amazing loads and loads of places to go and it is a bit default but I mean I love I love like, yeah. Spanish food the Balearics would be great uh, for uh, that shorter flight and great weather and things yeah take yourself to Malaga oh yeah a again a little bit in Malaga <laughs> yeah I was going to the uh, nip to the loo. Are you still all right up there? Do you want a quick yeah, half yeah. hour swap or are you good? No, I'm good. All right, won't be a sec. Turkish Airlines A321 CEO Tango Charlie Julia Tango Oscar on the Ridge. Turkish Flight 1994. Where could she be going? Star Alliance sticker on the side there as well. And the IAE engines, they are nice and loud, good classic airliner engines. Booked Orlando for next year for saving uh, for that, however, being said, I need lots of airliners live t shirts for the parks. Yep. Joanna, that sounds like a good plan. <laughs> But yeah, also when you've got like a big holiday booked, like where our holiday in September is like over a week long, um, which to me is like a big, <laughs> it's a long time to be away from home. And um, especially when you're trying to run your own YouTube channel and stuff. But, um, but um, I don't know, like also not doing anything between now and then and just kind of enjoying our home means you could save a little bit more. So I suppose that's a good idea. It's all just too tempting when it's only a couple of hundred quid to go somewhere in Europe for the three of you. Because also Jetsu have like for most resorts and flights and stuff, it's kids go free. So you know when, when there's two of you and one child, then it is tempting. Because <laughs> my my issue with the UK is it does get very busy. You know, 
beaches and things like that when you're trying to really appreciate the sunny days. It's sometimes better just to stay at home if you've got like a nice big garden or kind of a park around you. But yeah, it's nice to have the change and a bit of breathing space. Emirates Flight 17 over South End saying Lee, awesome. They're on dual runway ops now as well, so uh, that'll be landing on 05 right. This Ryanair is heading off to Milan in Italy. Ryanair UK, actually, UK Juliet. Are we back on dual runway ops now? Yes, uh, from 11, I believe, these days. Okay. Dual runway ops is in motion. On the second runway, we have now landing a Logan Air ATR in the Brathens uh, airline. Uh, Andrew saying, uh, does a tech exist for Matt to join in with the banter with no lag? I mean, we have Matt on a Bluetooth call. Um, however, for him to have seamless audio, I th we have looked into this. It, it's some sort of service situation we'd need to have running. And I'll be honest, dude, Andrew, I, I don't need another thing to be dealing with on the show. It, it, it's fine. It's... I know the audio on Matt's vocal isn't as clear as ours, but I think it's clear enough, and the the amount of extra stuff we'd have to get just to get that working, it just I don't think it'd be a good use of channel money, really, for the benefit you're going to get out of it, and we'd much rather spend that money on something that's really going to massively improve the shows, and, uh, yeah, I don't particularly have that on our radar at the moment, although we did look into it, though. But thank you very much for very kindly saying you'd, you'd donate towards that. That's, that's very kind of you, mate. There's that Brathens, ATR72. A Swedish operator who's flying on behalf of Logan Air at the moment with some of their aircraft, or maybe just one. And then Logan Air need any extra capacity, so leasing in a plane from Sweden. Michael saying, how's Matt Cam going? Seems to be going all right today, doesn't it, my boy? Seems to be okay, mate. Yep, sound. How's it up there? Not too warm, I take it. Uh, plenty of uh, hydration up here, mate. Plenty of water. Yeah, loads of donuts, Greg's. Um, sausage sandwich I've had this morning, mate. I've gone to the donuts, yep. Hey. Yeah. Love a good Greg's breakfast sandwich. Bit of red sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I no, appreciate it, Andrew. Yeah, no, we uh, we have got Matt on comms, so we can we can bring him in. Here's that British Airways shuttle service heading back out to London. He threw the A320. Where do you go plane spotting in the airports? So we're at the runway visitor park at the moment. Yeah, great view. Look at this. Like, if I zoom out, look how close we are to the aviation action. Mega. It's a great location, this. On weekends, they even have a live commentary system, giving you info about all the flights and aircraft. That's the Turkish Airlines A321 still holding short of the runway. Not sure why. Joe will uh, see her soon, departing to Istanbul. Uh, 
Yeah, they've changed the runway times. I think every day is like the same now. Is it like 9 till 11 single runway ops and then another time slot later on, something like that? That's one for Matty, I think. If we have a runway command in the chat, maybe that might need updating if it's not already been updated. Yeah. 9 till 11 and then 1 till 4. Right. So you might just catch uh, the tail end of some arrivals later on here on 05 right. Nice. Especially if they do close it a little bit early. There is an Aegean Airlines A320 Neo pinging up as well over at Terminal 2 on the pier. Uh, it's going to be out of view from Matt Cam because it's on the other side. Do you ever use an aircraft scanner? Well, we have uh, we have one in our office, which is on all the time, listening to what's going on. The other day we turned it on, and uh, I think there was a bird strike on the frequency as well, which is uh, which is quite cool to listen into. Uh, nothing catastrophic at all. Um, and uh, during the shows, though, we cannot have uh, ATC on the shows. I'm afraid, so uh, not whilst we are live. The pictures seem to come out really good, Matt, from Wednesday. Yeah, it was beautiful, right, mate, on, uh, on Wednesday, wasn't it? Yeah. Unbeatable. Did you have much heat haze on yours? Because mine seems to have a lot of heat haze on it. Um, I think it did, I think it was dependent on, like, if, like, because it, it was slight breeze, slightly breezy and stuff, so mm. I think, like, if the breeze, if you just caught a bit of that breeze before your shots, it was okay, but it's, like, some can't time that, can you? No, no, no. But like, um, yeah, a lot of my shots have come out okay, pretty clean. But like, you were right, actually, Mike. Like, there was a lot with. Um, that's the problem with summer, summer photography, in it. Like, you just got to be aware of that heat haze and stuff like that. Yeah, because later on, as as a, as we got a bit later into the after the stream, we took a few pictures, and they were so much cleaner than the earlier ones. Yeah, yeah. That's a really nice looking biz jet. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Honda jet. Yeah. Honda jet, yeah. yeah. And Matt has got the lofty A321 pushing back as well. Nice shot there, mate. What time does the RVP well, yeah, close? Got, um, Eight o'clock. Still got a lot of shots to be done. Have you? Yeah, still got plenty to uh, plenty to go through. Like, yeah, I took about a thousand shots just on Wednesday. You know. I was going to say you you were literally just taking pictures all stream, mate. Honestly, looks like my mum's boarding care flight as well at the moment over at um, that airport. I don't know the name of, but she's on a two-way flight, which was scheduled to arrive at uh, 40 minutes past one. So, although we would be offline for that, I certainly could have stuck around and caught the arrival, but it's going to be like more like three o'clock now, looking like. I mean, we'll see, we'll see. I'd love to catch her arrival, though. Doing the obligatory honours of doing the airport run for her. I think when it comes to like family and stuff and friends, like. Airport runs are always like you just you just say yes, don't you? Because it's default, isn't it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Because and it's it, I, yeah. I, I kind of get excited like giving them a lift to the airport as well because it's although I'm not going and it's always disappointing driving home. You still like got that slight buzz of like you get into the airport and you know, you're trying to get out in under five minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Can you do it? Can you not? <laughs> five quid, two becomes tw twenty quid. <laughs> <laughs> quick dash into the Greg's quick challenge. Hey, that'd be a challenge. Can you get into Greg's <laughs> yeah. back in five minutes? Yeah. There's a squad in front of us wearing his king T-shirt. Absolutely mega. Oh yeah, I remember the guys from the uh, the task fair. Yeah, I, I bumped into that chap. Um, don't know his name, sorry, but uh, on the, when on the way to the bathroom, then I just said, "Hey, nice shirt." <laughs> nice. Hey, John, how are you doing? Yeah, that's always the most awkward thing at the RVP. I'll be honest. I'm going to make a little request. Maybe let's not. Maybe let's not go. Oh, hi, you're the dude of airliners live at the urinals, guys. Let's wait. <laughs> let's wait till we get outside. It always happens, doesn't it? Yeah, you always get spotted at the toilet. <laughs> then they give you a pen, like, oh, can you sign? Can you sign this? Like, yeah, yeah. Well, you sign my book rather than. <laughs> 
Left hand's 21 been pushed back. Uh, Mr. John Fez is in the chat. And uh, Berg, think, thank you very much for the tier one for 18 months. That's a long time supporter. Thank you very much, dude. Really appreciate that. Cheers. And Carwin Davies, seven months. Thank you very much, mate. Premium Economy member. Welcome back, Carwin. Hope you're well, dude. And here's the Turkish Airlines heading out to Istanbul. Oh, shit. <laughs> Rotate. Here we go. Great sound again from the IAE engines on the Turkish Airlines A321. The dog's gone home already, John. That's gone quick, hasn't it? Oh, I bet you're going to like miss having a dog now. Now that you've had one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've had. You know what you've had there, John? You've had a gifted dog membership. <laughs> That's what you've had. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was great. I enjoyed that uh, stream. Good yeah. Dog hype. A little dog like that's perfect for like John set up though, isn't it? Like. Yeah. Just. I know they have a lot of energy. Like, I think all dogs have a lot of energy, especially when they're young. And you do need to give them space to walk around and take them for walks. But, I mean, if you've got, like, a little dog and you've only got a little place, I think that's pretty acceptable. Although it does sound like a pain how you had um, to take her downstairs every time she needed the bathroom. Yeah. That sounds like a bit. That's why we're kind of lucky with the cats. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. They're pretty well trained. Yeah, the dog using the bog. <laughs> yeah, imagine. Make sure he flushes as well. He just come in, you open the door, and he's just sat there like, oi, oi. <laughs> <laughs> Reading the newspaper. <laughs> Got his iPad out. Yeah. Playing Sudoku on the iPad. YouTube short. <laughs> John needs a parrot. Oh, my gosh. No. Absolutely not. One fez is enough. Glad to not have to leave the house for a change. Became too extroverted. <laughs> yeah, when you live in a flat, like, especially if you're introvert, it does play a big role because for me, like, sometimes you just feel proper introvert. And I remember, like, sometimes you'd hear, like, the neighbor, like, talking in the hallway outside, and you're like, oh, I'll wait, I'll wait till they've gone before I go out. Yeah, <laughs> so mate, I, like, I do that all the time. Yeah, like, oh, I'll just give it five minutes before I take the bins. That's why me and Jen are super lucky, because we've got, like, uh, double doors. We're on the ground floor. We've got, like, a little patio area outside, yeah. and we, uh, we're we always sitting there, and everyone, like, meets up on the grass and has, like, a big get-together, and I'm just there, sat on the patio, like, I hope <laughs> no one sees me, like, hiding the hand of us. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you're just in like your own little space, and you you don't want anyone yeah. to disturb. But you. it sounds weird because obviously I'm I'm really introverted, and so is Jen. And for us, like after a stream, that takes a lot of energy, mate, out of us. Yeah. And I just want to go home and just not talk. Not yeah, even yeah, yeah, yeah. like me and Jen obviously to chat, but I don't want to be on the phone. I don't want to be like doing anything. I just want a couple of hours of just quiet, and yeah. then I can get back on with stuff. Like that. Yeah, we do the same. Yeah, it's kind of awkward when I came out to yours that day. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll bring a few beers on, and I come round and you was in bed. <laughs> I, yeah, I know. We were stood there like, oh, we got here too early. Like, yeah. I just woke him up. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what time you were coming around, so I was like, oh, I'll have a quick lie down. Yeah. And then Sam came in like, Martin's here. I was like, what? <laughs> it's, it's funny because it's so rare I have a nap as well. Like, we're talking like once a month as well. Oh, I'm a big napper, me. Oh, I, 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 I don't have time for them these days. Yeah, I'm just make time for them because I just feel so <laughs> yeah. fresh after one. Yeah, that's true. I did feel a bit rejuvenated. Yeah, I'd, I'd be surprised if people... I mean, I suppose people are still probably travelling to Istanbul at this time to see the game tonight because there's still a lot of time left. It's not until 8pm UK time. So, I mean, if you left now, for example, I think we've got a Turkish triple coming in and I think that'll be the last of the, the, the City fans, Yeah, uh, I assume. They've sent a lot of different airframes in yesterday. They sent a Dreamliner in and a couple of 777s and A330s. 
It was nice seeing that Urini, by the way. Didn't comment on it, but the Urini uh, Embraer that's in today. Nice Guernsey. Matt Cam's got a Tui Max on the way out, looking great. Nice. We also have the Singapore Airlines. Yeah, that's pinging up as well. That's on the taxi out actually, and the Aegean. Yeah. To stick with the channel, Singapore Airlines in the back of Matt's shot there as well. Just grabbing a drink. No worries. And have a little rush by the looks of it. And uh, Aviation Travel, thank you very much for your uh, very generous Kofi donation to the channel. Say good morning, Martin, Andy, and Matt. Uh, great stream as always. Late joining you this morning, and I've just received my merch order. The quality is fantastic. Just having a brew with my Airliners Live mug on the Airliners Live coaster. Absolute legend. Thank you for supporting oh. the channel with your merch order. And uh, for also sending in a Kofi donation as well. It does help cover the cost of the streams. Thank you very much for that. And those of you who are wondering what that left hand flag is, is doing, it never goes through to one. It's actually on its way to Tampa. Uh, but because it's a fairly busy today for the Europe, uh, uh, Seen an awesome uh, shot of the uh, Singapore uh, Airlines uh, on the taxi uh, out. That's uh, heading out uh, to Singapore. And uh, uh, it looks uh, like the max is uh, uh, just uh, holding uh, for that. And the Aegean has been pushed uh, back as well. That's a Neo today. So that'll look fantastic. How's the audio mods with the Tanoi system? It sounds really loud in my ears. Maybe it's just uh, maybe it's just my headset. Look at the 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 now moving. She's yeah, heading off to our, uh, somewhere. That radar is not going to tell me, I assume. Frankfurt or Munich, most likely. <laughs> IE engines again on the uh, the aircraft. Love to see them. Okay, cheers, Lupe. Thank you, mate. I think it might just be because I've got a couple of windows open. And the Singapore A350 will be in shot soon as well on main car. And also pick it up on the ground, uh, just in front of Matt, to his right, is the Virgin Atlantic Flight 109 to Atlanta. A service that's been resumed now. That was actually on a hiatus in April and May for some bizarre reason. Um, and now it's resumed. Uh, I have said this before on the stream, but it's a bit of an odd destination for um, Virgin to be running. Because you think of Virgin, I, I, I think more like a leisure airline. And they do more like holidays, basically, rather than like business. And Atlanta, is that really like a holiday place? I don't really know. Um, obviously, Las Vegas would be a much more of a Virgin-esque destination. But they've not been running that, but they've been running Atlanta. It's a strange one. And a massive shout out to Harry, who's 13 years old, who's uh, watching from home with his homemade airport. Nice one, dude. Hey, nice. Hope you're enjoying that. And thank you very much for tuning in today, guys. 
But yeah, obviously, Atlanta's a huge airport. Huge. And the amount of connections you can get from there. Like, I actually looked at a flight to, I think it was Dallas. And one of the best options, price wise and convenience wise for us there, Manchester was, um, you know, Manchester to Atlanta with Virgin, and then uh, uh, Atlanta to Dallas with uh, Delta. It might be in Austin, actually, but either way. Here's the beautiful Singapore Airlines A350 heading off to Singapore. Long, long flight this. Almost 6,000 nautical miles on the journey. About 13 plus hours on the flight time. Maybe uh, 14. And this is part of a, uh, a route that goes from Singapore to Manchester, Manchester to Houston, Houston to Manchester, uh, and then Manchester to back to Singapore. And James Isherwood, welcome to Premium Economy Membership, a brand new, uh, a brand new viewer. Thank you very much, Duke. Sorry, a brand new VIP. Welcome. Thanks for supporting the channel. And uh, Sebastian, this is a one-off dude. Sunday shows return next week. Make sure you keep an eye on our social medias, guys, because we do announce all of these changes well in advance um, so that you guys are aware. Make sure you're following us on our YouTube community page and uh, also on our Instagram and things like that. Um, this is just a one-off uh, change of schedule today, that's all. Virgin Atlantic A330 being pushed back on Matt Cam, looking mega. So another awesome departure coming up. Nice screaming A330 05 left departure. And uh, before that, of course, we've got the Singapore A350. And thanks again, James, for supporting the channel with your brand new membership. Really appreciate that. My mum's not picking up. That's good. Nice. Over in the south of Italy. 2E flight 2685. Terry Keeley, good morning to you. Hope you're doing well. Are the Wednesday morning shows rescheduled for the summer? Yes, so all of the Wednesday shows now start at 4 p.m. until about 7, 7.30. So that's for the next couple of months. Yeah, definitely tune into that, guys. It is a great show. If we're fortunate enough to have a clear evening weather-wise, the lighting is stunning. We really enjoyed it. There's a way from the ground crew showing the Virgin Atlantic that the gear pins have been removed. That's safe to start his taxi, but uh, look at this on main cam, Jewel A350. Yo! Who's that? Beauty over there behind the trees. We shall see. And Maya, thank you very much for the six months of Airliners Live membership. Absolute legend. Thank you very, very much. The Virgin Atlantic A350 1000. Coming in from Orlando, Florida. Fearless Lady, the name on her. G Viv. Very pretty plane. Sure, we'll see more of that in a moment. First, a slightly shorter airframe, the HP5900 with Singapore Airlines.
So something a little bit newer. The A350-1000, arguably one of the best-looking aircraft in and out of Manchester at the moment. And we are rumoured to uh, see more of those, hopefully soon. Yeah, it'd be nice to see the Las Vegas route restarted here and operating with the A350. Tickets are on sale soon, I believe, sometime in July, I think. Maybe the start of July, like the 4th or something. Or US routes is definitely a good thing. We used to have loads of them here in Manchester prior to 2020. We used to have some American operators as well, like uh, United, American Airlines. And Ian, tuning in from the other London, Ontario, Canada. Welcome in, Ian. Ah, there's a London there. I know there's a Manchester in uh, the uh, on the east coast of uh, the US, near a town called Concord. Yeah, nice pair of Wookiees on the taxi out. Gian with Pratt and Whitney engines. An A320 Neo, we'll see that soon on main cab. Look at that in the light. Very pretty. Make sure you have your quality turned up to 4K if you can, guys, on YouTube. We are broadcasting in 4K resolution, Ultra HD. You guys can really appreciate the the aviation views here. Just waiting for the, the GN to <laughs> to make an appearance, but she wants to be heard first. <laughs> Let's get them walkies in the chat. For a nice pair of them. The A320 Neo, they're usually not that loud, but this. Oh, she likes to howl. <laughs> Matt Cam, we've got the A380 coming into land on the second runway. Looking beautiful. Great. Just gone behind the hangar now. Cheers, Gizmo. Glad you're enjoying it, mate. All rise for the King of the Skies on 05 right, touching down here at Manchester Airport. There he is, Emirates Flight 17 from Dubai. Super jumbo. Slowing down on the runway now. Oh, and there's a Virgin A330 as well. Wow, this is getting crazy, guys. 
If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like button as well. It really helps us out a lot. And it's massively appreciated. There's the Super Jumbo, though, the biggest passenger plane on the planet. Over there on 05 right. Look at them king emotes in the chat. You guys know what to do. So on Saturdays, Dougie, they uh, have the dual runway in operation over the lunchtime. Uh, so that'll be why uh, it's a little bit different today than on our Sunday shows. Yeah, but, uh, it's weird. It's a nice change. It's weird. It's, it, the times are strange because on Sunday shows, we usually catch the, for the most part. I don't know if it's going to be the same, though. We'll find out tomorrow, I guess, because there's actually new times out now. Because um, I think it applies to every day, this new time. Oh, okay. It's like one one size fits all. But I don't know. Are they going to just, again, with it being a Sunday, maybe just close the second runway for, runway for longer? We'll see tomorrow, I guess. We'll keep an eye on radar. But I think they had the new times last Sunday, maybe. And we were good. <laughs> My mum's flight's already airborne. Wow, that was quick. 6,000 feet already on the way to Manchester. Let's see what the estimated time is. Well, it's only about an hour late, to be fair. So it was meant to arrive at 20 to 2. It's now 20 to 3, looks like. Ah, oh, got you. So about maybe half 3. I'll be collecting care from Terminal 2. Sorry to hear that, Dale. Hope you're, uh, you're better soon, dude. And uh, hope you have a great trip when you go on the 14th as well. I recommend taking your own deck chairs to the RVP. Yeah, the RVP is essentially, it's a park, right? So, you know, they have loads of benches and stuff, but, I mean, the strategic thing you can do is bring your own chair and you can sit wherever you want, the best view, and there's loads of space here. So, yeah, recommend that. We also have the cafe here as well. I'd recommend using the cafe when uh, the A380 is on the move because that's usually when people are out getting photos and usually after that everyone kind of goes to the cafe then. Oh, the Aegean pair of Wookiees off to Athens. Another thing that we haven't mentioned for a while here at the RVP, they have a a full ocean 360 flight simulator here as well uh, inside the Concorde hangar and I believe you get tickets for that at the reception and that is like a, a cut, an air-to-air like air -air combat simulator but it's got full inversion you have like the over-the-shoulder roller coaster style straps on and it's great yes. well, I'm going I'm to halt you I'm yeah. going to halt you in your tracks because Mac Aviation our friend Eric from the south side has just sent all his viewers oh. into the airliners live stream. Oh. Welcome in, folks. We're doing a, uh, a slight change of schedule today. Don't worry, it's not something we do all the time. Um, but some of the guys are at Cosford uh, tomorrow. So uh, if you just finished watching Eric and you come over, welcome in. We're going to be live for the next few hours. Uh, well, the next hour or so. Hope you had a uh, hope you had a fantastic stream, Eric. And thanks very much for sending your uh, your viewers across to us. That's very kind of you, mate. Very, very, uh, very kind. Thank you very much. It was great seeing you. I hope you weren't too warm in your hoodie yesterday, Eric. Brave guy. Yeah. <laughs> Emirates A three eighty now holding, waiting to cross runway one. Was probably just waiting for that. Virgin Atlantic A330 to vacate the runway. If you are new, a new viewer that's come across from our extreme, uh, please feel free to say hello in the chat. We'd love to give you a very warm welcome. Uh, so just pop a hello in the chat. 
and uh, the community will give you a very big hello from all of us here at Airliners Live. And if you're watching our channel and you've not heard of Mac Aviation, uh, mods, if we can get a link to uh, RX channel in the chat, please, uh, please make sure you go across and give him a subscribe as well. An absolute gent. We've had him on the show. Super positive, super friendly. And, uh, yeah, it's a pleasure to uh, have you with us, mate. That's a plane that wants to be spotted. <laughs> Brussels Airlines A320 heading off to, well, you guessed it, Brussels. There it is, the King of the Skies just arrived uh, on 05 right um, after completing a seven hour, seven minute flight from Dubai. It's currently being tracked by uh, 12, over 1,200 people, number two worldwide on the old radar services. You often find that, like, in Manchester airplanes do rank pretty high on, uh, on, on them radar lists. And I think it's just because we have such a huge spotting community here. I really can't think of another airport that has a bigger spotting, like, yeah, culture to it. Yeah. Maybe Matthew, Amsterdam? please stop spamming the same message in the chat. People have responded to you already, dude. Yeah, but Amsterdam has a real heritage to it as well. Because uh, well, even like somewhere like Vancouver, like it just doesn't feel like there's as many people. Like that airport with the the, the lighting and the views and the variety of aircraft, it's such a jewel. It's such a a gem. And you know, look at here at the RVP that we're surrounded by. Hundreds of people who are here just to see the aviation action, but over there it's like Henry's like sometimes the only person there, and it's like golden hour, like your special liveries coming in, and we're so treated and so lucky to be able to broadcast Vancouver Airport as well, because it's such a good airport, and maybe like here in the UK, especially where we're quite, you know, a bit aviation nuts sometimes. I don't know what it is, and other countries across Europe as well are the same. It was like yesterday when I went Southside, like, someone was out, yeah, we had the Plus Ultra coming in, and it was pretty busy, there was just people everywhere with cameras and tripods, obviously I bumped into Mac Aviation and, and um, Airbus Red, for example, two legends, and uh, yeah, it's just a friendly community as well. They don't have a park to watch from. Well, the thing is, it, at um, Vancouver, they have, like, a dedicated spotting uh, terrace. It's called the South uh, Terminal Viewing Platform, I think. And that's where Henry sometimes streams from. And that's, like, a completely public place where you literally park. I believe it's free parking. It might not be. But you literally just park, and then you've got literally, you know... 20 steps and you're on the platform it's you're so close yeah it's awesome it's a really nice little viewing area um and i love the head-on shots you get from there as well that's absolutely awesome and then obviously you've it's kind of like manchester really you've got the the other side the north side where you just get that full panoramic runway view and it's just i'd say in terms of how manchester is vancouver is very similar with regards to its uh, spotting locations and uh, some of the pictures that come out of Vancouver, I love the shots where people have all the scenery in the shot and the plane's quite small in the frame. Uh, just the lighting and the scenery is just unbelievable. If, if you love aviation, I'd recommend just joining the Manchester, the uh, Vancouver group on Facebook and just looking at some of the pictures they're getting out of there because it's just, that's another level, that place. Yeah, Nothing it is. Else. We've always been really inspired by a guy called Eye Trapper. Yeah. Uh, who does a lot of spotting there and does video and really really good looking videos of, of aviation and uh, go and have a look eye trapper eye space trapper like an eye as in on your face and uh yeah he's he's definitely been one of our biggest inspirations to to up in our quality because we you know we used to use like a panasonic camcorder and then you know but back in the day, we were quite happy with that. It was, retros you know, now we look back at it and it's like, wow, that's really bad. Really grey colours and yeah. really soft looking image. But um, when back then we'd look at someone like Eye Trapper and go, wow, like that's how good aviation can look. We want to bring that to like a live stream. And uh, yeah, that's kind of what we did. We really invested in a nice tripod, a nice camera, a nice encoder that can do a nice high bit rate and high resolution and 
Mm. And uh, I think mm. we're, uh, we're... I wouldn't say we're on his level. Like, he's still... like. The gold. I don't think we'll ever be on his level, <laughs> yeah, I'll exactly. be honest, but listen, we're trying. We're trying, exactly. And that's, that's the main thing. Uh, Stephen, welcome in from uh, Mo Cop Castle. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you're doing well. Welcome. And as I say, guys, if you are new or you've come across from our extreme, a very warm welcome to you. I hope you're enjoying uh, what you're seeing so far. So we uh, here on the channel on our weekend shows have a multicam setup. So as you can see, this is our main camera here, which is uh, bringing you everything uh, sort of in a 180 degrees view from the runway visitor park. Uh, but then we also have uh, Matt Smith, who I think we can say hello to. And there he is. Um, hello. Hello. And uh, that's Matt Cam's view. So we can see the apron. We're looking at a 2E Dreamliner being pushed back. But if you want to give us a bit of a cheeky zoom out, Matt, and uh, you'll have a yep. look, guys. This is our mm. Matt Cam location, which we bring in live to you guys as well. So we can kind of see what's going on on the ground. We can see what's coming out. And uh, it just keeps keeps things interesting. It's nice to see what's going on around there. And, uh, of course, uh, we're keeping an eye on any of the heavies that are uh, that are on the move. We've seen quite a few aircraft move recently. That Jet 2 arrived uh, earlier on, and no doubt we'll see that being pushed back at some point soon. And uh, there it is, an awesome, awesome view from Matt Cam Smith. And then, of course, uh, myself, Martin. My name's Martin, if you've not seen us before. And uh, that's Andy up on the, uh, on the camera. And don't worry, guys, he is not standing on the roof. Are you sure? <laughs> don't tell him. Don't tell him. Um, so we've got a couple of heavies coming in in, in like the next hour. And I think we're going to catch... So, as Matt said, I believe the second runway closes at 1 p.m. It's a strange small window. That's only two hours. And that will mean that a lot of the arrivals will come back onto runway one, which is zero five left, which is the runway which is right next to us. Um, so of, of that, we might get lucky because we've got a two E seven sixty seven. We've got a a little bit further out. We've got an Airbus A three thirty with Jet two. We've also got a Qatar triple seven and a Saudi seven eight seven dash ten Dreamliner. So all of them are coming in kind of within the next hour, I'd say realistically. Um, and I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they all landed on 05 left here. So stick around. We'll see. I, I've got a good feeling about it. Um, Fingers crossed. It, it's, it's rare they close it later than they should. It's quite common that they close it earlier than, than they should. It's all about, like, just, um, you know, just trying to prioritize a single runway to, you know, reduce on a lot of things, right? A lot of costs and a lot of, a lot of uh, extra work, basically. The beautiful shot there of the Tui Dreamliner being pushed back. Uh, something we love to bring you guys on the live streams. That's heading out to Cancun. It's six years old. And uh, it's 787-9. Operated by Tui Flying Nordic. Oh, nice to see them. Oh, it's, uh, it's Fez's plane. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the, the, the Tui Flying Nordic that we see quite often. Foxtrot Zulu. Fuzz. And uh, Beijing, thank you very much for getting involved in the chat scene. I see the Hainans back in. I've took that many times to Beijing and back. Yeah, we do love seeing that. Well, it's a long flight, and it's nice to see a, a direct route to China here at Manchester again. Uh, Beijing, uh, Hainan used to fly prior to the 2020, uh, you know, hiatus, I suppose. And it's good to have them back. Absolutely. And they Belgiuice, cheers, dude, as well, saying... Uh, I liked the minimal chat when I first migrated to Airliners Live with Martin and Charlie, uh, but now I really enjoy the whole community chat and I still watch the planes. Yeah, Belgius is probably one of our longest members, guys. Yes. He's a little sniper in the bushes. He's always there. Yeah. He very rarely says too much, but he's always enjoying himself, and that's all that matters. Great to see you, mate. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're not too hot in the old sun. I've seen him a couple of times here at the RVP with the uh, Aviation yeah. Society. He always comes down to the SAS fair. Yeah, the SAS fair, yeah. It's about a month and a half away, the next one. 22nd of July. Hyped for it. This Embraer Fenham is off to Verona. Patrick Malone, hello, welcome to you. Hello. 
Another German registered biz jet. We do see quite a lot of German registered biz jets here at Manchester. Yeah. And uh, you definitely do have to have the cash to have one of those. <laughs> yeah, they're often German or... We'll see a couple of um, Isle of Man with uh, Mike. And also Portuguese is quite common. Charlie Sierra. And uh, David Riley saying some great camera positions. Thank you very much, mate. Welcome in. And uh, Paul Kennedy saying yet another great feed. Cheers, Paul. Great to have you with us. Off to Nice, this EasyJack flight 2103. And we can see the pushback truck just pulling away from, uh, <laughs> from the uh, Tui Dreamliner. So you got to time them jokes just before I uh, switch over to Matt Gall, aren't you? <laughs> and, uh, the other edge. Beautiful shot, Jet 2 being pushed back as well, guys. As close as it gets. Love this. Nice. Yeah, I love the pushbacks on Matt Cam. If you are enjoying the stream, if you can do us a massive favour and just give the like button a click for us, guys, we'd massively appreciate that. Helps us out completely free of charge. Yeah, Nigel, not long until the task fair at all, mate. Yeah, 22nd of July, Saturday. If anyone's free on that day or can be free on that day and can make it to the runway visit to Park Manchester Airport, I'd highly recommend it. Not only can you sort of hang out with the team, uh, Airline is Live, at the our, um, stand there, uh, you can also buy some merchandise as well. And the, we often do a couple of discounts there as well for some of the uh, the older items, like the pin badges and things at them events. Uh, and maybe maybe a beluga mug if you're lucky. Absolutely. Uh, my dad's not going to be happy. I found two of them in this stock check we did the oh, other day. Yeah. Well, you're a task fair. <laughs> but uh, we've got some new products going for the task fair as well. So more to let you know about that very, yeah. very soon. And, um, and also the, the task fair is fantastic. It's, it, there's so many stands that do aviation memorabilia uh, of all forms. Uh, one of our favourites is to go and hunt for models. Uh, aircraft models, that is. <laughs> um, and uh, like die cast or whatever you can imagine. There'll be so many different models. In fact, Sam actually bought me one on the sly last time. The last one. What was the occasion? I think it was There just was our... no occasion and she told me I had to stop you buying it if you were going <laughs> to buy it. <laughs> Jeff, if Andy buys this, don't yeah, let him uh, buy it. And I'm like, what so, am I supposed to say? Uh, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, me, me and uh, Martin went on a hunt because I really wanted um, Southwest's Lone Star 1 special. And somebody did have it at one of the stands, and I said that me and Martin were going around, and I was like, oh, I might buy that. And you were like, oh. <laughs> you're like, oh, just wait until later, they might bring the price up. <laughs> and knowing that Sam's got it in a bag. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah no, and, uh, that was, uh, that was, that was funny. Sam bought me it as a present, so really fair, fair play to her. I love that model. The great livery. It's probably the best Southwest livery, in my opinion. I'm after the Toy Story livery, guys. If anyone wants to spot the Toy Story livery for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you get quite a lot of obscure things there, like niche liveries. Yeah. So I think the Toy Story one's possible. Phil Broad, good afternoon to you. Thanks for getting involved in the chat, mate. Great to see you. And um, thanks to everyone who's tuning in as well. Really do appreciate it, guys. Absolute legends. And also, uh, <laughs> the first plane I ever went on to Texas was uh, a JetBlue A321 Neo. And uh, we got that as a model, too. And I think Sam got that as well as a present. She's, he spoils me. She's not rich, but she uh, she makes an effort to, to be kind and all that. And Kay Louise uh, saying, uh, I'd like to say a really big thank you for helping me without knowing it. I went through a difficult stage with anxiety and depression, and I found a happy place uh, watching your streams and visiting the park. That's absolutely fantastic news, Kay. As you know, on the channel, I have the same struggles as well, and I had a very similar experience over Christmas, and the streams helped me immensely as well. So without you guys, I would uh, have been struggling, and I'm glad that we could help you guys in return as well. So thank you very much, Kay, and uh, fair play for being open about it. We always encourage uh, openness and things about things like that, and I'm glad you, uh, you've been enjoying the channel. Hopefully... Hopefully you're on the mend as well. If I can recommend anything, a bit of exercise, get that vitamin D as much as you can, get in the sun and just uh, just do what you enjoy doing. And I guess that's watching the stream. So thank you very much for tuning in. It seems like exercise has helped you a lot. Oh, yeah, it's helped me massively, actually, yeah. yeah really has. Yeah, for me, I, I, I don't, I'm lucky to not have mental health problems, but even for me, 
I find that just a bit of exercise, a bit of resistance training, or even just going for a walk or something that pushes you just a little bit, um, whether it's just like some sit-ups or uh, like how you've got that new uh, little... Uh, exercise. Like exercise. I don't know what you call it. It's kind yeah, of like, it's like a band that you. Yeah, it's like really a cool. Band, isn't it? Basically. Yeah, I'll tell you about it. Chat in a sec. As Trevor Bolton, thank you very much for the five gifted memberships. We we'll get this up. Yeah, thank you very much, Trevor. Gifted memberships. That's gone to Sammy Dot Brownlow, um, Carly Marie, and David Riley, and Lee Emery. All receiving gifted memberships from community member Trevor Bolton. Thank you very much, Trevor. That's very kind of you, mate, supporting the channel with those gifted memberships. Uh, but, yeah, I ordered off Amazon. It's kind of like um, it's like three elastic things that are kind of held together in, like, um, you know, uh, I don't know what it's you like call it. It's like a resistance band, isn't it? It's like a resistance band, and you, you put it around your back, and it comes with a bar, and you put the ends over the bar, and you can do, like, lie down, and you can do, like, uh, bench presses and stuff with it, and it's, like, got a 90 kilo resistance, and I've been doing that in the mornings, and I do, at the moment, I'm just doing three reps of 10, basically, um, and it just helps, helps massively. It's absolutely great. I love it, and uh, you can do all sorts with it as well. You can do, like, rowing exercises with it and things like that. It's absolutely mega. Here's that Brathens, ATR 72 with Logan Air, heading off to Newquay, down in Cornwall, south of England. Our Tom just stopped in. But listen, guys, whenever you want an ice cream, give me a shout. They've got some vegan ones, apparently, as well. Oh. Roll, one, uh, oh. roll 12 10. Thank you very much, Chief. Hope you're doing well. Wow. Excellent. That creeped out. Oh, it did, yeah. I forgot. Heinen, A330, heading back to Beijing. That is not on radar for me. Snuck out. And Philip saying, if you had a chance to tick something off your bucket list, what would it be? Either um, Norwegian Fjords or Vancouver. Yeah, Very in terms of destinations, um, gosh. I mean, I'd love to go to um, Nashville, Tennessee. I love the look of that place. I don't know. Miami looks great as well. Wait, did you see Noel Phillips' new whip? New whip. He's got a big fat truck now. Has he? Massive Ford truck. Oh, he's, he's in the Texans. He said, oh, I'm really joining the Texans now. And yeah. he bought this massive truck. I'm like, yo, What's fair he got, play. Has he got like a Dodge Ram or is it a no, Ford? No, it's a Ford one. Ford F 150 or something. Mate, it's huge. I'll send you. I'll check his Facebook. He's yeah, yeah I'll, I'll have a look. And uh, Katrina, a brand new Airliners Live VIP. Thank you very much for that. Welcome to the VIP club and cheers for supporting the channel with that as well. And Tina say, me and my husband walk every day, even if it's just for an hour, walk among the trees, you feel great. In our late 60s, to so want to keep well. Yeah, Tina, exactly. Yeah, Way to do it. One of the things, when you, as you age, especially when you get to like 30s and 40s, 50s, your kind of degeneration of your muscles starts to happen more and more. So what you've got to do just to counteract that is make sure you are doing some walking every day or... You know, just some, like, like I said, some resistance training. If you've got a treadmill or a, a little walking machine or just something to keep active. Because I think the worst thing you can do for your mental health and physical health is just sit all day or, you know. Well, I, can see, uh, I can see Tom over there. He's about, he's wrapping the merch. <laughs> Yeah, with Tom and Anne, I'll uh, pass them their model. It's in, their, it's in my car still. It's been there for like three weeks. I don't even know what it's for. I don't know why it's there, but apparently I've got to be the guy to hand it over. Or Sam does, I don't know. Been tasked with the responsibility. Um, but also, like, something I was reading up about, um, I forget the, the hormone of it, but um, there's a hormone that basically makes you feel more awake. It begins with an O. Maybe someone in the chat knows. 
uh, not oxygen. That's not a hormone. And um, and um, it's actually released when you do exercise. And it's kind of it makes you feel a bit because I, I remember when I was kind of going through tough times physically. I had a lot of like physical health problems, um, and I always never wanted to exercise because I felt tired. But these days, it's the other way around. Like you realize that the more you exercise, the more awake and alert you feel. Especially in the mornings, like like and even if it's just a walk, like it releases them endorphins. I forget the name of it. I'm not a I'm not a scientist. <laughs> Air France eight two twenty just holding. It's uh, started its taxi out, so that'll be awesome. That'll go right past us here. And lining up on the runway is the Heinen three thirty, ready to go. And uh, Gary uh, Malarkey, thank you very much, mate, for joining Premium Economy membership. Welcome in, dude. Hope you're doing well. Oxytocin, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, the hormone. Yeah, have a look at that if anyone's interested. It's uh, an interesting thing that your brain does to make you feel more awake and alert and stuff. And that's why I do an exercise in the mornings, always encouraged. Here we go, the Heinen 330. Oh, I hope it gets out quick because the Cathay Pacific is being pushed back on Matcam as well. Oh, yo. Beautiful shot. Picture in picture. <laughs> it is. Nice. Heading out to Beijing, that A330, four years old from Hainan Airlines. It's pretty new. As far as A330, 300s go. But there it is, the Cafe Pacific being pushed back. Beautiful shot on Matt Camera. Sasha McCarthy supports the channel with a donation. Sending £10 in today saying good afternoon, Martin, Andy and Matt. Thank you for the great streams. It really helps cheer me up um, as I've been feeling a bit down. No worries, Sasha. I'm glad you're enjoying the streams. Hope you're feeling a bit better soon. And uh, thank you very much for supporting the channel today. Really do appreciate that. And uh, if you can, get a quick 10 minutes out in the sun, you'll feel much, much better. Absolutely. And thanks for supporting us again. Really do appreciate that. And uh, we're keeping an eye on that Cathay Pacific because it's an airline we tend to miss on our Sunday shows. So I'm really hyped to be able to see that uh, on today's stream. We are keeping an eye on the Dreamliner that's lined up on the runway as well. Well, thank you for all the support, everyone. You've been extremely generous today so far, helping cover the cost of today's broadcast. Really, really do appreciate it. And welcome to all the new viewers as well. Hope you are enjoying our coverage of Manchester Airport. Yeah, Nigel knows. Um, I, 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 I heard it. I didn't know officially, but yeah, that Air France A220 went tech yesterday. Uh, so it was actually an overnight. Um, and interestingly, on the same day, a Manchester bound A220 squawked 7700 and went back to Paris as well. Oh, wow. Strange, eh? Seems like everything's all right, though. The plane is now flying back to Paris. We love the A220s here on the channel. Yeah, massive fun. There's a three G minor roll into Cancun. There she goes. Great you view. can see on the uh, cafe, the pushback truck has been disconnected now. And uh, we're waiting for that to begin its taxi as Paul Kennedy. Thank you so much, mate, for a £20 donation. Very, very kind of you, Paul. That's absolutely awesome, mate. Thank you very much for that. Thank you, Paul. Huge. Got them bing bong emotes in the chat, folks. And uh, Funky Jazz loving the uh, the Dreamliner departure there on the Twitch channel. No, I just saying the, the the plane that squawked seven seven hundred yesterday was only delivered a few days ago. Oh right, okay. and uh, it didn't get above ten thousand feet. So 
I mean, it does make you think it might be a, an aircraft-related issue, but it could also be, like, down to passengers or something, right? So you just don't know. Uh, but it certainly didn't seem like it was too serious. The aircraft made it back. Uh, Matt said he, he knew someone who was on that plane, actually. Oh, did you, Matt? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, man. yeah. Oh, um, did they did they say what happened, or...? No, they didn't mention, obviously, they just mentioned, like, they knew that they weren't getting to Manchester when they got to a certain height, and they just like, yep, this plane ain't going Manchester. As soon as oh. it started, like, doing circuits and that above, um, or, like, the north of France there, they just thought, yep, we ain't getting home tonight. I, w- uh, I wonder what they would have said on, on board then, because, you know, you kind of expect some kind of explanation. Because, sorry, guys, we, yeah, tr- you'd, we, we you'd tried. Expect something. <laughs> we tried our best, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, maybe we want to look into them. And yeah, uh, someone in the chat did ask if the. Uh, where's, that, where's that message gone? Uh, if the A220 is going to be at the Paris Air Show, uh, the, the 500 series, which is the longer variant that Airbus have uh, teased. And allegedly it's going to be revealed. I don't know, I've not heard it officially. But um, that would be really cool to see that aircraft uh, revealed. And cheers, Michelle. Glad you're enjoying the stream. And thank you very much for watching us for over two years. That's awesome. Thank you, Michelle. And 65 tuning in from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Welcome. Jet 273 on the way to Verona. Thank you, by the way, Nigel, for helping out with the the radio. Yes, thank you, mate. Absolute legend. Yeah, we're, we're super happy. We have it on all the time. And a uh, super clear signal. And Yeah, we're looking forward to get that video up, guys. Uh, we had uh, some new gear, new equipment put into our office in the form of radio receivers and uh, a really good, elaborate, clear... High, uh, high-end receiver was put in, basically, that uh, we purchased. And the guys from the Radio Society uh, helped us install it and, you know, gave us all the recommendations about what to get and everything. And it was really entertaining and fun. And it's now a permanent fixture in the Airlines Life HQ. Air France AT20 now rolling. There is no show tomorrow. No, this is in place of tomorrow's show, Luke. Yep. So I suppose if you did, if you were someone who watches on a Sunday, you can always watch this back too. Uh, if you do want anything radio related though any questions or want to get involved in a society the guys at the Stockport Radio Society are definitely the guys to contact they are awesome yeah, and they even have awesome. a regular stand at the TAS memorabilia affairs as well yeah they're going to be there this year as well so make sure you go and say hello to them and Simon Parks a brand new premium economy VIP thank you very much Luke really appreciate that welcome uh, Ishak, it was all announced on our social media page, dude. And Ness Fullerton, thank you for returning for four months. A crucial member in the channel saying hi all, hello from me and my hubby Ian. He never misses a show. Love listening to all the chat and thanks for the great shows. Cheers, guys. Thanks, Ian and Ness. Really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Absolute legends. Crew seat members as well. And look at that beautiful Cathay Pacific on the taxi. Huh? Hey, good luck, Kevin. Nice one, dude. New CPU upgrade just arrived for the old PC. I oh, love that. Quality. So you must have got a new motherboard as well, Kevin, I assume. Yeah, enjoy. Oh, Barry, I hope you get that sorted, mate. Keep us up to date, dude. Keeping fingers crossed. Keep positive. I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine, mate. Are you getting some video at Cosford? Probably not. I'm not going to commit to that, but I will probably get some little clips and stuff. Last time what I did, when I was at Southport Air Show, I brought the camera and just left it on like a super slow-mo setting. Mate, I'd just do that again because yeah. that was incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and that 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 was a bit more fun because everyone's going to be doing videos and stuff and so if someone like planes tv's there like i i'm not going to offer anything better by doing my own video so i, I think uh a little uh few little slow-mo clips could be fun yeah it's really cool to see them stunts in slow-mo because you just appreciate the the crazy maneuvers they're doing especially like the uh someone like rich goodwin in the pit special who does the like the the falls out of the sky uh control with falls and rolls and things it's quite nice to see an air lingus atr in the classic colors Uh, 65, I'd say the main difference with Manchester to those airports you've listed is um, we have a lot more variation in the size of aircraft. So as you can see, we have prop aircraft, heavies, the A380, the low-cost carriers like the 73s, the A320s. So there's a big mix of aircraft, whereas airports like LA and Heathrow are just a lot more heavy aircraft orientated. And uh, don't get me wrong, we'd love to see a few more heavies here at Manchester, but I think we've got a nice balance. And uh, with the dual runway operations and the views we have here, I think it's definitely a, uh, a great airport to stream from. One of the very special things we have here at Manchester is the 757s. Plenty of them based here. I don't think any other airport in Europe sees this much 757 activity, certainly not for um, passengers. Yeah, hope for a speedy recovery as well for you, Barrett. Keep us up to date, mate. It is a shame we're not seeing the 1000 today on the Cathay Pacific flight to Hong Kong, but great to see the airline all the same. Beautiful aircraft. A nice scheme too, very simple but modern. Nice dynamic duo. We'll keep an eye out for him. Do you mean behind us at the RVP? Or? And now goes the uh, Rini Air Services Embraer 195 back to Guernsey. And Diane, thank you very much for 499 donation supporting the channel today. Saying uh, really enjoying the show, guys. Keep up the great work. Thank you very, very much, Diane. That's uh, really kind of you. Really does help the channel a lot. Really appreciate that. Fly control check on the Cafe Pacific there. Great shot of that. Love the winglets on the A350 as well. Really pretty. Yeah, Lingus heading out to Dublin. Nice to see it in the old green scheme, as Andy said as well. Yeah, quite like that on the ATRs. It's definitely a bit more eye catching. Classic colours of Air Lingus. Used to love that on the 757s. And if you're enjoying the stream today, if you can click that like button for us, guys. We're only 100 likes away from uh, 1,000. And Ash Pollen, no problem. Take care. Thank you very much for tuning in. Really appreciate that. Look, it's a beautiful shot of the uh, Jet 2 757 pulling onto stand on Matt Camp. 
has just completed a two and a half hour flight from Ibiza. Must be plenty of parties going on to operate a 7.5 there. Alpha Bravo on the reg of the uh, seven five. Yeah, that's it, 65. We're super fortunate here at uh, Manchester Airport to have, like, the full view of the runway. The RVP on this side, on the north side of the airfield, with sort of 180-degree panoramic view of the airfield. And then over on the south side, there's yet more views all the way down uh, the second runway as well. Uh, we really do have a great airport for spotting, a perfect airport for a live stream as well. I'm glad you're enjoying it, and thanks for getting involved so much in the chat as well, a new viewer. It's great to uh, welcome new viewers in and uh, get them involved in the community chat. I think Ibiza was like the cheapest way you could fly on a 757 from Manchester. So anyone wants that experience, have a look at Jet 2. I think that's a really good value way to experience the classic airliner before they retire them in a year or two. And off it goes. About to start a 5,987 mile flight to Hong Kong. Huge mammoth flight for the three year old A350. Yeah, quite an early rotation actually, considering how far she's going, but she's. Loaded with them Rolls-Royce XWB engines, which have a lot of power to them. Cheers, Matt. Take care, mate. Thanks for tuning in today. And Dan uh, Smethers, thank you very much for the 15 months of premium economy membership saying great quality as always and a great community as well thank you very much dude thanks Cheers. for the long-term membership thank you all for tuning in today it's been an awesome stream but a couple of heavy still to arrive in the closing stages so stick around uh, let's have a look where the qatar is so qatar airlines about 20 minutes away and that might arrive on zero five left if we're lucky likewise to saudi with the 787-10 Dreamliner. Air tanker A330-200 as well coming in. That's uh, 39 minutes away. And two E767, um, just uh, 26 minutes away. So it's gonna get very busy in the next half an hour on the arrivals. And fingers crossed, guys, because, uh, well, they should reopen uh, runway one for arrivals. Uh, but, you know, there's no guarantee on that. But the next arrival is a Pegasus A321 Neo. We'll follow that in. We've also got an easy jet just touch down on the north, oh, sorry, the south runway from Alicante. Unfortunately, it looks like our... Uh... Turkish is an A321 now. Ah, uh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to quick flip through. Yeah, not to worry. Still got plenty of heavies to arrive during the end of the today's show. About the last 30 minutes or so, guys, of uh, the broadcast. Then we'll get those heavies in for you before we uh, before we wrap up today. 
And the first of which, as Andy said, is the uh, Qatar Triple 7300. Uh, that's been in the air for six hours and 20 minutes already. And that's flown over to us from Doha on the 13 year old Triple 7. The Saudi Dreamliner is the 787 10, which is only three years old. That's currently over the channel at uh, 40,000 feet. It's starting its descent very shortly, about half an hour away from us. Great to see the Dash 10 coming in. Yeah, it's going to be good. Hopefully they do bring her in on uh, zero 05 left, so on the runway closest to us. I think it's pretty likely. Yeah, that's it, Barry. It is all relative, mate. Absolutely, and uh, obviously so that that for you is uh, is a massive thing, dude. So don't don't worry about that. That's uh, I think anyone would be rightfully a bit concerned about that. That's what the community is there for, all to support each other. Uh, Ian Barron, uh, not a silly question at all. Uh, are there passengers on the airplanes? Absolutely, mate, yeah. So uh, the arriving and departing aircraft are uh, mostly all passenger flights, unless it's a repositioning flight. You can usually tell a repositioning flight if it's got a P on the end of the call sign, um, and uh, the aircraft coming in and out of Manchester are mostly passenger flights. We see very, very few freight flights here at Manchester Airport unfortunately anymore uh, so yeah you can be pretty much guaranteed that it's a passenger route yes. I remember during Covid we had a period of time during like the lockdowns and things where uh, there was a lot of commercial airliners that were flying passengerless flights and they were mainly just carrying cargo and there was even like a temporary conversion that Airbus offered for the A321 I believe um, I'm not sure about the A330, uh, where you could actually have uh, installed like pallet uh, capability in the cabin area as well, so you could actually uh, turn it into like a complete freighter temporarily. Uh, I remember Qatar, um, I think Hainan, a couple of other airlines did that with the. Passengerless flights. Yeah, Qatar were a massive freight operator during the pandemic. Yeah. Regularly coming in and out of Manchester. Yeah, and they were bringing the A350 quite a few times as well, which we've not seen for a good while. The Qatar Airlines A350. I think they are flying them again. But they did have to ground a lot of them for a long period of time due to issues with the paint corroding. And uh, it was a strange issue that was uh, quite niche, but other airlines have reported it too, that the paint degrades faster on the A350 uh, with certain colors and paints. And uh, Qatar was one of the worst at seeing that issue that was alarmingly fast. The, the paint on the fuselage would, would corrode, and as a result, they had to ground them. And then I think they had the whole legal battle with uh, Airbus because they'd ordered more aircraft with them. And they said, well, this is ridiculous because how can we have confidence that the, the future the aircraft won't do this, you know? And it was such a niche problem. It had like an issue with the uh, like the copper lining in the in the fuselage uh, that would usually be for like the anti-static uh, cage uh, was corroding in a very specific chemical uh, reaction that caused the paint to fall off. It was really yeah, specific. Funnily enough, Airbus did announce that they were either redesigning or changing that in some way. But they said it's absolutely nothing to do with the paint issues. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so it's like, okay, dude. <laughs> All right. Then. If you say so. But uh, good to see them back on uh, good terms. I think they've uh, started receiving orders again now. And uh, hopefully uh, that issue has been resolved as well. Yeah. Yeah, it well for a long time. Though. Paul saying I did a great night on the pool table last night. Played 10 games, won seven. Nice. Right, Paul, nice one. This EasyJet A319 is off to Geneva. Bravo India on the reg. Is she going to hold there? I mean, that is the spot. That's EasyJet's spot, right? And I'm scouting around because about 3 p.m. apparently we're supposed to start getting thunderstorms. I'm not seeing much in the way of that. 
over the horizon anywhere at the moment. 3 p.m. That's what I heard. It's supposed to be did start in all afternoon. Uh, once again, thunderstorms forecasted. It doesn't happen. Well, I'm looking at BBC weather, and that's saying Sunday and Monday we're getting thunder. <laughs> But it's it's so happen? dumb, isn't it? It's like you, you can't plan nothing. Exactly. I only looked this morning. Oh. Yeah, you can literally just look at the sky. That's a more accurate way. It of is. You're right. Predicting. Okay, so it now says five to six p.m. They did originally say three. Yeah. Five to six p.m. Uh, apparently. Met, Met office is it? Met office. Uh. I think, the, uh, I think we will get some office. rain this evening. Windy's saying that we'll get some rain later in the evening, though. Like we're talking like seven p.m. Yeah, and only a bit. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what it is about this area, but thunderstorms just—they're they, always forecast and it never happened. I don't know what it is, and if they're not forecast that's often where they will, ha will happen like they won't they'll just come without a, a warning it's weird Qatar's going to be entering the approach soon it's on the descent I don't usually I don't usually talk about nonsense okay on the channel but I've just had messages getting spammed on our chat bot on our website and it's just some guy going, Blue Moon, you start. <laughs> <Just, just, laughs> can you send me Blue Moon messages through the chat bot? I'm like, okay, dude. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but the, the football is getting to everybody today, isn't it? Yeah. Blue Moon. But here's a question in the chat. Now, this might start a riot, but listen, why not? Why not? We've only Go got on, half man. an hour left. Obviously, as you know, me and Andy aren't massive football followers. Um... So that's kind of quite good for me because that means, although I've been brought up as a United supporter, my dad's a United supporter, his friends are United supporters, on a game like this, I can tune in and not feel bad for watching City and hoping that City are going to do well tonight. Right. So if you're into your football and maybe you are a United supporter or a Liverpool supporter or something like that, um, but you live in the Manchester area, are you going to be cheering City on tonight, guys? Are you going to be tuning in, hoping they bring the Champions League to Manchester? Let us know in the chat. I'll uh, probably tune in and uh, keep an eye on it. And uh, let us know in the chat if uh, if you're going to kind of forget your team bias and just cheer for Team Manchester today, guys. Yeah. Yeah, for me, it's like, if it's international, I, I, I find that so much more entertaining. I know it's like, literally the best quality standard of football is literally like the Champions League, really, or, because, uh, I don't know, if, I think international football is a little bit below club these days, um, just because of the amount of resources and, and training they have together as a, as a, a club team, right? And obviously an international team. Yeah, you're picking, you're hand picking the best players from the country, but they're they're not a team that naturally play together. So um, yeah, uh, I, I'm excited for the return of like the uh, the World Cup and stuff. <laughs> I'm upset if you people in the chat. A lot of people going absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, but my family was, because I'm from Liverpool, we were, um, the family was an Evertonian family. So we used to like, you know, my dad and, and his dad and also on my mum's side, they were all Evertonians as well. And obviously, like, there's a big resent for, like, Liverpool. Now, me personally, I kind of, you know, lean towards Tramia Rovers these days. <laughs> but, um, which is uh, kind of neutral in the, the two of them in the Merseyside derby. But, um, yeah, I think if, if Liverpool were ever playing back in my younger years, then uh, I wouldn't want them to win. <laughs> but these days, I don't follow football. I just don't have time, mostly, but... I, I used to be really be it. There was a tight period of time in my life where I was like, I knew every player in the Premier League and like every deal that was being made. And I used to play FIFA. 
watch all the games. But uh, I've not got time <laughs> these days. David Hunt has uh, been living in Australia for 40 years, but born in Altrincham, and he's a city support. A nice one, David. Cheers for tuning into the channel. All right. So you'll have to be up really early then to watch the game, right? Or up late, I think, up early. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, there's, there's quite a lot of people who have said they will not be in the slightest. I feel like, guys, I feel like one of them Bond villains where I've just I've just dropped something in the chat <laughs> and I'm just sitting here going like this now and just let it all fester. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> It's just as divisive as like a political talk. Isn't yeah. It? yeah, this is why we stay away from sports and uh, politics on the channel. It's never a good one to go down. <laughs> but I couldn't resist. Sorry, guys. But no, seriously though, like I think there will be people who who will watch because just because it's a Manchester team. Yeah. Obviously, if they were. If they, when they played United the other day, I wanted United to win, but as United aren't in it, why not just have a Manchester team in general, you know what I mean? Shortbread Airlines was on a taxi out there, heading to Inverness. This EasyJet's now on the move. Not too long of a wait, she's heading off to Geneva. Steve, supervise Steve just going full send it, cheering for Inter Milan. <laughs> oh, what was that? Later. <laughs> okay. Right now, rolling on the runway. That's out to uh, the one, and that's the depot. Oh, is it only on Sky or BT, is it? No. Is it? Isn't there like a rule where these cup finals have got to be free to watch as well? Or has that just been removed these days? I don't know. There's certainly a rule with like, um, I think it, maybe it's a national thing, like national sporting events, like the Olympics or the World Cup or Wimbledon. They need to be free to watch here in the UK. Right. But uh, I don't know, guys. Is, what, is, is Sky free these days? I don't know how it works. And Janet, if you're saying British Touring Car Championship, I am... A big fan. I love the British touring cars. I used to watch it a few times. I remember when BT used to just be like the phone. <laughs> Wasn't yeah. it our, our national phone service? And you had the old BT phone book. And now it's like, what, a TV channel? It's free on BT Sports YouTube channel. Ah, okay. That's, cool. I mean, okay, that's That's that, all right. Yeah, that's good to... Down with that. Good to know. And David Riley, thank you very much for your £10 donation, mate, saying for having a gifted membership... And your different camera shots. Thank you very much, David. I'm glad you're enjoying your gifted membership and cheers for supporting the channel today with a donation. Thanks so much. Mate, that is... I like that YouTube is, is starting to be the place for this sort of thing, you know. Yeah, it's... Fair play. That, yeah, that's yeah. actually quite exciting as a, as a YouTube channel. Yeah. I, th I think it's always been going the way that... Just like radio, yeah, people still listen to radio, of course. People still watch TV, but I think the world's moving on from that, isn't it, slowly? That's right. And, uh, like, certainly for me, like, yeah, I'm a bit of a younger clientele in, in the broad scheme of things, but, um, like, in my car, I never have the radio on. I just put Spotify on these yeah. days and just put it on, like, uh, recommended or whatever. That's right, Paul Brooks. Yeah, Jen told me about that this morning. Soccer Raid is on tomorrow. Now, that's always a fun game. Oh, yeah. It's where they get the celebrities and the real-world players, and uh, they just have a good football match. I'm definitely going to tune into that one. That one should be a good laugh. 
Yeah, that's a really good I think good even Jem wants to watch that. I right, just need some nip to the loo one more time. Are you still all good up there, Andy? Yeah, we're all good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Logan at ATR heading off to Isle of Man. Shortest route from Manchester Airport. Oh yeah, and uh, as Loopy put in the chat, uh, the Nightbot Command, there's now a Spotify playlist for Airliners Live. If anyone's a Spotify user in the YouTube chat, you can see that link that Nightbot's put in. Um, I basically just made a, a playlist with all the Airliners Live tunes on it. So see how many you recognize. The brand new edition, uh, Rush by Michael Symes, is an absolute anthem, and that is on there. But also some of the more classic Airliners Live anthems are there too, so if you are a Spotify user, give that a follow, because uh, I'm going to update it whenever we get a new track on the channel. It's even got Captain Mark's theme song, <laughs> Henry's and Fez's as well. Let's see if you can work out which ones are which. For anyone who uses Spotify, that is. I know some people use, like, what else is there these days? Like, iTunes? Is that Apple Music? Is that a thing? That's the one, isn't it? Or Amazon <laughs> Music? Question mark? I don't know. <laughs> Amazon tunes. Okay, here we go. Here are the top four. So we have four people and uh, as long as we love one group, um not a good idea. We don't think we can as well. So we have the following. I've looked at my Spotify account since twenty thirteen, I think. Twenty twelve maybe. Poland, Malta, so the UK, or you have Right, these wide body movements will be coming in soon. It's approaching that time, guys. The Qatar Airways triple is already on final approach. And it's hard to tell, but I think she might be landing on 05 right. But allegedly they'll be closing that runway at 1 o'clock local, which is only four minutes away. How old is the Airliners Live channel? Uh, about five years? Five and a half? Yes. Let's see, 7 3 out to Innsbruck. And uh, Matt comes seeing something over the top. What have you caught up there, Matty boy? I think they said BA triple here, mate. Out of here, bro. Lovely job, boy. Good catch, mate. Yeah. I've got filters on, so I can't see it. I'm sure someone in the chat will know. Eagle Eye Smith on the case again. Gosh, Lime Wire, that was a. That's a throwback. Classic. I remember when LimeWire was a thing and a lot of people were losing their marbles in the music industry because they were like, this is going to like put us all out of business and, you know, people need to be buying CDs so we can support their artists and stuff. And and um, and I remember what, what Spotify said was the, what to counteract that because Spotify is still free. You can still get it for free. They've just got to create a platform that's better than piracy and... Fair play, like Spotify and iTunes, like Apple Music and all that. They are better than, like, piracy. And they're easier and easier to access, and you're actually supporting the artists, although that's another 
debate of how much they actually get. Yeah. I don't think it's a lot. Absolutely. But the world's changed, like with music, I think. Uh, music artists make more money these days from not from album sales, but from... Uh, I, I think, like, Spotify is more of, like, a discoverability platform more than anything, uh, where people find their artists and stuff and just listen to them. But then, obviously, they'll make money uh, these days. Like, the, the live music industry is massive. And people pay so much for concerts. Like, I've not been to a concert since I was, like, oh, maybe, like, 12 years ago or something. And since then, I've looked at ticket prices and stuff. And, man, they could be expensive to see some mainstream artists these days. And often you'll go and see them and, you know, or you'll buy a cheaper ticket and it's, like, right at the back behind a post <laughs> on a seat that's a fold-out camping chair. SoundCloud is the place to be. SoundCloud's strange because they have adverts now, don't they, which is just a bit... Bit much, I think. Guitar triple just touched down on the south runway, completing a six hour, 40 minute flight. Yeah, spoiler's still out there as she vacates 05 right. Yeah, I'm curious if any of these planes will land on 05 left. We've got the on approach, the TUI 767 from Palma de Mallorca. So he flight 2669. OBYK. Could she use 05 left? We'll see. I used to pay like $7 US uh, for Yes or Black Sabbath or say Van Halen. That's insane. Yeah, I use YouTube music, Michelle. Yeah, I quite like YouTube music. I think it's flipped on its head. I think the main moneymaker these days is live music and album sales and streaming is the cheap part. Whereas back in the day, it was like that was their moneymaker yeah. and seeing them live was the cheap part. It was uh, Queen. You know the Queen tour that they're doing at the moment? Well, not at the moment, but in recent years with was it Adam Lambert. Like, looking at the prices for that was insane. Hundreds of pounds for a ticket per person. Yikes. Yeah, and they weren't even, like, good seats is the issue. Like, I don't know if I'd like to be, like, sat at the back. Uh, I'm grabbing the 767. That's from Atlanta to Brussels. Awesome. I, kind of looks like the 276 is lining up on 05 left. Kind of. Fingers Maybe. crossed. Yeah. But yeah, adverts are so infuriating for, uh, for me. I had to get a uh, YouTube Premium, because yeah. I watch like hours every day of YouTube Premium, and that would probably rack up to a lot of time lost if I were watching all them adverts. Yeah, same for me. And uh, for anyone who does have YouTube Premium, um, us as creators actually get a little bit of support from you watching us as well, uh, which is great. Um, and uh, the same with you guys on Twitch with your Twitch Turbo. I watch a lot of RP streams on Twitch, so I have the Twitch Turbo because I'm flicking between a lot of streams. Some days I'm watching one guy, some days I'm watching another guy. And, uh, yeah, the the premium was kind of like a, a no-brainer for me, really. Yeah. PC-12 landing on the south runway in from awesome. Zadar. Zadar, wow. Three-hour, 40-minute flight. That's a long flight, that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's kind of pushing the range of the... Pilates PC-12. I don't know. I'm not sure on the range on those. Gorgeous looking uh, Qatar 777 crossing the left-hand runway.
Oh no, it's the rude easy jet. Oh no. Deary me. Off to Amsterdam, the A319. Oh, yeah. Box drop uniform. Yeah, John, I think once, if a lot of RP guys move over to YouTube, I'll cancel it. But at the minute, most of the guys who I watch are still on Twitch. How long that will last, I don't know. Are you finding anyone's moving over to um, kick, or is it... Yeah, so one of the main guys I watch, Buddha, he he tends to, like, halfway through his stream now, just move over to kick and just say, right, we're going over to kick for the rest of the stream. And uh, it's getting a lot of attention. It is yeah. getting a lot of... But it's it's not there yet, you know. It's, it's, not, it's not all that. The application isn't very good. Um especially on mobile devices um but the, it is it is starting to get a bit more traction especially with the the sort of pr issues twitch is having at the moment i think twitch just needs to completely start from scratch with their marketing team because it seems like the last four or five announcements have just been really poorly handled and just caused an absolute riot in the community and it's it's not doing them any favors in the slightest i've i've speculated that I potentially think that they actually want it they want Twitch to die because it's costing Amazon so much money to keep it online yep. that I wouldn't be surprised if they, they're trying to get it to fall off to be honest yeah obviously that's just me being probably a little bit paranoid but I'm just surprised by how many bad announcements they're doing and how they're being handled it's not going good is it for Twitch It is just like a clone of Twitch, though, isn't it? Where you're allowed more, as Christina says. Yeah, but they, they're using Twitch's engine. They are, yeah. So which, Twitch which is earning pay... money off Kick, so yeah. it's not like they're doing it illegally. They've, they're paying to use the Twitch engine. Yeah, it's mad, I So it's, uh, it is a, a, a plus for Twitch in some ways. Yeah, I've heard that could be massively lucrative for, for Twitch, though, that engine. Yeah. Because that's kind of one of the big biggest reasons why they acquired Twitch. Really nice colour scheme on this, by the way, guys. Yeah, Matt just picking up the 7.6. It is landing on the right-hand runway, unfortunately. Okay. We'll stick with this it, for now. Maybe we're wrong about the runway times. PC-12 is a uh, Dutch registered. And the Saudis just done a an orbit over uh, Macclesfield, so it looks like it's just sorting out the separation. Yep. There's a few aircraft on the way into Manchester now, including the Jet 2 A330 from Palmer. Take care, Terry. Thanks for your help today, mate. Really appreciate it, dude. An easy jet rolling out to Amsterdam. As a Turkish A321 Neo pushes back as well. It was on flight radar as a triple yesterday, but it looks like that's been swapped out. Flight radar does like to do that from time to time. Oh yeah. We've uh, we've found out a few times in the office. Yes. Seen a few things that look just a little bit too wonky to be true. Yeah, the other day, uh, Heinen had uh, on Flight Radar 24 right, yeah. a uh, 330 Neo. Yeah. And I was like, do they even have the 330 Neos in their fleet? And they don't, so. And then from Amsterdam, the Embraer 190 from, uh, well, with uh, KLM, City Hopper, Dutch Pride, but. Have a look at this 767, shall we? They've just arrived on the south runway. Pitching pitches up for the Qatar as well. Do you guys want to see that come into stand?
Uh, easily, I'm, I see a lot of people on Twitch who say they really don't like YouTube and they don't like the YouTube chat. I, I really don't get it. I, I don't get it. I, I don't see any major issue with it. Maybe it's just because I use it so much, but I've never really understood the what's so wrong with it. What What is it about it that you don't like? Yeah, I'm curious. I mean, I think Twitch has more features, like in the chat and stuff, like yeah, like animated emotes and yeah. I don't know. It, 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 it's a bit smoother as a chat experience, but I mean, YouTube's really I mean, the good. The chat still feels good, I'd say. Yeah. Oh, let's have a look at this Turkish being pushed back for a moment, guys. We'll catch the two as it crosses back over the runway. It's just, uh, it's bloated, right? The chat is terrible. It takes up half of the screen. Uh, well, there's no theatre mode, is there? That's one big problem. Yeah, th- theatre mode is is something that needs to happen. Yeah, I don't know why um, they don't. Well, there is a theatre mode, isn't it? But it doesn't have the chat on screen. That's right, yeah. I wouldn't say it's bloated, though. I, I, I'm not. Yeah, I can, I can see what you mean, though, but I, I personally think it's all right. Ah, right, your main reason, Isley, is is the people in the chat, right? Yeah, there's, there's a difference. There's a lot of spam on YouTube chats, especially ones that aren't very well moderated. I, yeah, I, I agree with that. I always find that when a Twitch streamer goes to YouTube and then streams there, the chat is never anywhere near as good as on Twitch. Right. But I think that's just because their, their audience is on Twitch, right? Yeah. I think I might grab something from the cafe after this if I'm waiting around for my mum. Oh, yeah? What are you, what are you fancying? The usual, I think. What, you, what we usually okay, get yeah, yeah, well, Sausage and bacon. Why not? Why not? Sit in the sun for a bit while it's out. Make the most of it if we've got some, a few days of bad weather. Let's have a quick look at this 7 6 m for you guys. Beautiful shot of that crossing over. Looking very shiny. Hey, no, not at all, Isley. No, I don't think you're offending anybody there. I think it is... I, I would agree with you. Obviously, YouTube has a much bigger viewer base in general, so there can be a lot more spam and bots and stuff on channels, like I say, that aren't moderated. But if you were to go over to our chat, for example, um, I would say our moderators do a great job, and, and we, I, would, I really enjoy the chat experience on our YouTube channel. Yeah. I mean, look at, like, how bad it can get on Twitch when you look at, like, a big tournament or something, like, where the chat's just unusable, right? It's the same on YouTube. Yeah. can be bad. There's a Ryanair waiting to take off on 05 left. Heading off to Paris Beauvais Airport, even though it's not in Paris, it's in Beauvais. <laughs> I wouldn't agree with that, Finger Games. YouTube doesn't care about live streaming. I'd say they massively care about live streaming. They've added tons of new features in the last year for live streamers and content creators. I yeah. think they're, they're making a lot of effort in the live streaming category. Yeah, the, the only problem is, I think, for like gaming and stuff, they don't. I don't think they have like a um, a way of sorting it like Twitch. But saying that, is Twitch even that good for sorting? Like, I mean, Twitch's discoverability if you're a new streamer is absolutely terrible. Yeah, whereas YouTube's actually exists, so... Uh, I don't know. Interesting topic, though, guys. Yeah, it's like a whole video we could talk about. Absolutely, that. yeah. Like I said, this Ryan is heading off to Paris Beauvais. Echo India Delta Whiskey Bravo on the reg. I just realised one of us needs to go and get Matt. There's us talking about going to the cafe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was sat there thinking, oh, yeah, I mean, Maybe. nice this everything. I thought, hold on, there's something else we've got to do here. <laughs> Maybe we can be strategic here. One go to the cafe and one, yeah. one break off. I'll go, and grab, yeah. I'll go and grab Matt. Okay. And, uh, sounds efficient. And you'll, you'll, do, you'll well, be Matt, the cafe Matt, man. Matt can get treated that way as well if he wants. Yeah, you, what are you doing, Matt? Yeah, there's sausage and egg wheel. Oh, go on then. I suppose so, mate. Go on then. Go on. Go on then. Go on then. 
Go on then. So this seven uh, six uh, taxiing onto Stanley up. Yeah, we're Ooh. following it with you, Matt. Great job, mate. Let's get some ten out of tens in the chat from Matt Cam today, guys. Been up on the roof in this heat, same as Andy as well, actually. Yeah, it's all, it, the breeze has helped a lot. It has been warm and kind of burny, but it, the breeze has definitely. Yeah, I agree with Andy. The, I agree with Andy. It's not like fully thingy yet. It's, uh, it's definitely warm, but the breeze has certainly helped a lot up here. Yeah, if the breeze wasn't there, it would have been a bit, a bit of a struggle, but all good. Absolutely. Caitlin, hello from Stoke, she says. Hello. We have a whole Stoke squad in the chat. Stoke squad unite. <laughs> Very patriotic gang of people. My partner Sam is from Stoke. Look at that view. Two Dreamliner pulling on to stand on the map cam. Geez, weather's saying it's 27 degrees right now. Wow. It doesn't feel like it. No. It, it feels just like pretty average. The Met R says 26. God. I've got people like singing to me in the in the website chat now. I've started it. Got one guy singing Never Gonna Give You Up in there. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Look at that, following it all the way in from its arrival onto the stand there. That's the power of the multicam here on the weekend streams on Airliners Live. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Beautiful shot. Oh, did you say Dreamline? I didn't even pick up on that. People did in the chat saying it's a 7.6. Did I say Dreamline at some point? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I, 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 don't, I know it's a 7.6, guys. I was probably just on the autopilot. Uh, Catherine saying, you guys are keeping me sane today. Currently working, and it's been so stressful. But watching you guys really helps. Hey, awesome. nice one. I like comments like that. I, I, I'm glad we're helping. Yeah, don't worry, guys. I, I'm aware. Sometimes when you present in shows like this, you do kind of half look at something else while you're talking, and it does distract your mind slightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yes, that is well-observed, people. That is a 7-6. Got this E RJ at 135 on main cam. Another Dutch registered. Yeah, great-looking dreamliner, that. <laughs> 747, is <laughs> Whatever it is, it's ace. <laughs> <laughs> that's come from, uh, that's done the Madman flight. Madrid to Manchester. <laughs> Mad lad. Is there, is there an airport LAD? Have to find out. Yeah, that is mad. That would be mad. So that EasyJet's still holding. Um, it's interesting how the BizJet used the uh, the entrance in front of us there. Kind of cool. This EasyJet's holding. Uh, it's going to be on quite a long flight on an A320 CEO down to the south of Turkey, uh, Antalya, and an even longer flight because, uh, well, the, the people on board are going to have to wait for this little delay. So it's quite good that the EasyJet seats aren't too uncomfortable. They're definitely not as bad as Ryanair or Jet 2, in my opinion, but they definitely aren't <laughs> up there with, like, a long-haul operator. But, uh, yeah, I could definitely do four or five hours on them seats and not be completely in pain like I would be on Jet 2 or Ryanair. Honest reviews right here. Um, I actually got a, uh, I guess, a little mini review of the flight we had down to Amsterdam uh, the other week, and or last week rather. And um, the problem is with that, uh, I've got all the footage there of the whole, uh, basically three days there, uh, recorded on a GoPro, and we did so much. Like it's going to be the best vlog we've ever done. It's just got, it's crammed full of really exciting aviation-related things that we got up to in Amsterdam. 
and uh, not only spotting but visiting like the Europe's biggest uh, aviation model store. We visited an awesome aviation museum. Uh, we did something very special with Niels as well that I can't wait to share with you. Went to the Corindon uh, 747 Sky Bar and uh, vi explored the terminals. So much. Obviously, Paul Dubon with the live stream as well. So exciting. So much stuff. The biggest problem is the footage is like four hours long. So I need four hours just to sift through that footage, which I've not had the time to do this week. Uh, and then, obviously, then I need to go and edit it and figure a way to edit it where that four hours could be squashed right down into, like, 15 minutes. <laughs> Is it possible? I think give you half an hour. Well, uh, yeah. I think it's possible. Yeah, I want to... The, the, the shorter, the better, but... Like, you guys need to see it because it's so good. But stay tuned for that. That'll be on our YouTube channel. Virgin A330 being pushed back there on Matt Camp. And uh, taxiing past the RVPs at Turkish Airlines with a glorious pair of Wookiees on board. Go to airlineslive.com, grab your t shirt. An awesome pair of Wookiees. And Denny Jolly, thank you very much for your Twitch Prime. Thank you guys. Only 10 subs away from uh, our Twitch goal. Can we beat 100 subs, guys, on Twitch for the first time in months? Yeah. Shut them primes. Come on. Send subs away. Let's smash it, Twitch crew. Does that watch get flight radar on it? Well, I had a smartwatch for a long time. And I don't know, I just think smartwatches overcomplicate things. Yeah, I don't like them. Like, you'll, you're bouncing between your phone and your smartwatch, and, you know, it's just as quick, in my opinion, just to whip your phone out of your pocket. Like, some things, like, if you're really into fitness, or you're trying to, like, calorie, uh, not calorie count, but, you know, when you're trying to, like, count your calorie deficit through fitness, and man, monitor your heart rate, monitor your sleep, which I find a bit weird. Like, I guess a smartwatch really helps out there. Um, yeah, I must admit, with things like watches, I really like analog stuff. Same, yeah. Just you just look at it, and you see the you don't have to press a button to yeah to, to wake it. Doesn't die. It will run out of battery, but long, long time away. And your watch like telling you that you got a stand up. Like, listen, I'll stand up when I want. How about that? <laughs> when you land on right oh, in <laughs> It tells you that you've crashed your car. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been in an accident? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I just I like analog, like Martin said. I just like just looking at it at the time, and like I'm a very time conscious person. Uh, person? <laughs> time conscious person, and uh, I like to just constantly sh look at it. Because with phones as well, they're distracting. Like sometimes, I don't know if people in the chat will do this, you'll just go to your phone to check the time, and then there'll be a notification for something, and then you end up just scrolling social media. Like, I know that's not healthy, and that's something that we shouldn't do. But, uh, yeah, with a, with a watch, it's just the time. Easy. Waterproof as well. <laughs> and Eddie uh, saying, I've just had a bacon and sausage butty in the garden watching them approach over crew. Uh, your great coverage is therapy to me, and I fly in three weeks to Ibiza. Nice, mate. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Uh, 65, it's called I Trapper. I Trapper. Yeah, John's got you in the chat there. Yeah. Feel yeah. free to whack a link in if you want, John. Great channel, guys. If you just like some real chilled out, super high quality cinematic aviation video content, just like there's no talking over it, it's just like pure appreciation for high quality aircraft movements, then go watch his stream. Go watch his channel, sorry. He doesn't do live streams at all pre recorded. And uh, yeah, we've been watching it for years and still blows our mind. Should we have one more pushback? One more pushback on Matt Cap. One more push. Fucking mega. Jet 273 out to Pisa. Yeah, I think we're wrapping up soon anyway. We but, are, yeah. But uh, we need to go grab Matt off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> well, contrary to my side, he is standing on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we'll go feed Matt. And Woodsy, thank you very much, mate, for using your Twitch Prime on the Twitch channel. That puts us only nine subs away from the Twitch goal. Can we hit it before we finish today, guys? Any Oilers? Any Primers? 
It's great to see the Saudi 787-10, by the way. I did mention it earlier in the stream. It does look very long. Like, look at the wings, like the aspect ratio of the the aircraft, uh, which is the kind of, like, width and length of the, of the wings in comparison to the fuselage. It looks kind of weird. Like, they look really small, like little toothpicks almost from this angle. It just looks very long for the, the size of the engines and the, the, the wing there. But it's great to see in the, the longest variant, the biggest Dreamliner, or 767, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Try a citizen watch, they don't use batteries, they use solar energy. Well, that wouldn't be very good in the UK, would it? <laughs> no, they are good. Oh, right, so my, my dad's got a few of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're okay. really, really good. Uh, it's a, not a smartwatch, that's like a... No, it's not a smartwatch. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, oh, right. I thought it was a smartwatch. I was like, that's just going to die. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's not a smartwatch. No. Okay. I got a... Uh, my dad gave me a uh, Citizen Red Arrow watch. Yeah. Really, really nice, actually. Love it. Yeah. And Tina saying, Airline is live. Your show is 10 out of 10, like a TV series. So much content and great conversation. I love you guys. Thank you very much, Tina. That's a really good review of the channel because that's exactly how we want it to be. So thank you very much for that. Yeah. I'm glad you're enjoying it. We've got a version of Atlantic A330 taxi now. Do you want to just... I can see it. It's on Matt Cam. So we just... we'll make that the final one then. Yeah. We've got a little bit of overtime, but you know what? The weather's nice. My mum's running late anyway, so <laughs> yeah, I'm not Matt, in a rush. When this, when this is taxi pass you, dude, if you want to pack up, mate, and I'll come and grab you when, okay. uh, when it departs. Oh, wow, Absolutely, mate, no problem. Jet 330 on the other side as well. Yeah, that just arrived a few moments ago. That's in from uh, Palma de Mallorca. You'd hear a howling in the background. Rolls Royce engines on the 330, but this Turkish Airlines with the Pratt Whitney 1100 Gs. Off she goes back to Istanbul. A321 Neo. And yeah, let's catch the little, kind of short A330 200 from Air Tanker. And if anyone's missed the like button yet, feel free to hit the like button on YouTube. That really helps us out a lot. A friendly reminder to support the stream in a nice and easy, simple way. And make a big difference. <laughs> Paul said my favourite plane is the A330. Nice. I think uh, Sam's favourite commercial airliner that still flies is uh, the 332. She loves that. Although I think the flying on the A350 and flying on the 757 last year, I think has kind of maybe changed their mind a little bit on that. Uh, but I think, in general, our favourite airliner in total would definitely be the the Concorde. But don't see them anymore. But yeah, I appreciate the, the kind comments. And uh, feel free to put any comments about the channel in the chat. We do listen to them. We do really value what you guys think. And uh, if they are constructive comments, like, say, you know, maybe... You know, if the mics could be louder or, you know, something like that that you think, then feel free to let us know in the chat as well. Because uh, do, we do really value uh, your opinions on things. Absolutely. Like, um, me and Martin obviously read a lot of the comments on our videos and not just the live streams, but the pre-recorded stuff. And they just give us ideas as well. Because, like, oh, yeah, that guy said that. And, uh, like, on Captain Mark's series, you know, a couple of people have commented really good ideas for things that he should explain and uh, it's just it's great because you guys get what you want and we get some great ideas as well and feedback here comes the Virgin Atlantic A330 300 heading off to New York JFK this will be the last departure of today's live show um, is she running on time relatively pretty much on time yeah a little bit early off the blocks 125 was our scheduled departure time Great to see. I think for me, though, the A350 probably still holds the fort for the my favourite airliner that still flies with an extremely close second, 757. Extremely close behind. 
opposed by all the things that are up. I think that's still still popular with the AC Celtic. And um, this is Celtic Flight 127. It's up above the 3,200 series. And there it is, taxiing right past us. The final departure today is Saturday show. All the schedule returns back to normal next week. Don't forget, we'll be live Wednesday evening now for our midweek shows from 4 p.m. And John Fezzer will be live in the simulator on Monday at 6 as well, guys. So make sure you tune in to that. But a massive well done to Maddie Boy Smith as well. Let's get some 10 out of 10s in the chat as we wave goodbye to uh, Matthew today, who's, who's chopped his own head off. But uh, there he is. <laughs> He's you, there. You can kind of see him. He's in there somewhere. Just imagine. There he goes. <laughs> Legend. And we'll get this A330 out, and uh, that will wrap up today's show, folks. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you've not hit that like button yet, if you can give it a little like, Give it a click for us. We'd really appreciate it. And uh, make sure you tune in next week for the rest of our show. Yeah, I think the 757, like, from a spotting point of view, it's definitely a favorite. But when you fly on it as well, it's such a good plane. It flies so well. Like, it's comfy. It's well pressurized. And it's just like the sensation when you're taking off on, on that aircraft is... It's so good if you get a good high power takeoff if you're lucky enough. Like that will change your mind. But also on the opposite end of the scale is the A350. This proper elegant super airliner that has just the, the latest and greatest technology and just a really cool, amazing looking plane with a big also Rolls Royce engines as well. That sounds great. I did see a, an Alpha 5 thing um, the other day. I'll try and find it because it sounded interesting. Virgil uh, Atlantic's uh, just entering the runway now to wrap up today's show. There's a 7-3 that we saw push back on Matt Cam there. Is uh, taxiing out in front of us as well. Thanks to everyone who came across from the Mac Aviation Raid. Make sure you guys go over and uh, show him some support by subscribing to his channel if you haven't done so already. And uh, same to uh, Simon Lowe as well. Make sure you check him out, another great Manchester content creator. And uh, Richard, thank you very much, mate. I'm glad you're enjoying the streams. And uh, thanks to everyone in the chat who has uh, been involved today and uh, for everyone who sent in support and memberships. That's uh, very, very kind of you guys. We really do appreciate it. You uh, help keep the shows free for everybody and uh, keep us doing what we're doing, which is great. So, yeah, uh, I... I um... <laughs> Alpha 5, actually, I'll, I'll read it out as soon as this is taken off. That would have been crazy, Aiden. Two high-powered aborted landings on a 7.5. Oh, Yeesh. wow. With them brakes as well. Yo. Yo. <clears throat> What a sound that was. That was awesome. What a way to end the show, eh? So, quick one. Alpha 5 saying that on the 19th of June, um, <laughs> I believe Iceland Air, Foxtrot India, is expected to operate a DH-4, which I think is the equipment code for... Uh, is that Q400? I yep. might be wrong. Is it? Yeah. Um, so, a, a Dash 8. <laughs> That'd be nice. From Iceland Air. Like, what? <laughs> That's so random. 
long flight for a dash eight, but yeah, it's possible. They do that on the delivery flight, so oops, we just lost your camera. Not to worry. Did. Okay. Oh, I, 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 think, I think I know what happened. But there we go. That's going to wrap us up today, folks. A huge thank you to everyone tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. Uh, we've had an absolutely mega day today in the sun. Uh, Andy and the crew are off for Cosford tomorrow, so if you're down there, keep an eye out for him. He's the dead skinny guy now with the airliner's life cap on. The watch. And look out for the watch. It's going to be shining. <laughs> That's it. We're done. Thank you very much. Enjoy the sun. Whatever you're doing today, make sure you drink lots of water. Yes. Have a nice dinner. Pork pie, one or two. We're going to grab some lunch here now as well. You guys have been absolutely incredible. A mega stream. We've loved every minute. For myself, Martin, Matt Camus, give you a wave already. And Brownie up on the roof. Thank you. We will uh, see you all tomorrow. Oh, not tomorrow. It's Saturday. Saturday. We'll see you on Monday. We've got a day off Sunday We've got for a, a day change. Off. What's going on? That's nice. We'll see you in Monday on uh, John's Flight Sim Show. And Wednesday, we will be back live from 4 p.m. for the relaxed evening show. Loads of great chat in there. And don't forget, we will be giving away two of the Gemini Jets models on Wednesday's stream after 5.30. So make sure you're tuning in as soon as you get home from work. Get a takeaway box. It's going to be mega. Take care, guys. Thanks for tuning in. To Rafa now. I talk to demons out Right, I'll go and collect that uh, medium rare Matt Smith from the roof now. I think he's had enough time. Just sign your name.